Hey everyone, we're going live now. Sorry about your bit delay. Just been one of those days today. And as such, uh, I will be doing something that's going to be. We're having a diff. We're having the same map program. We're just having to have a new. Let's put it this way: due to I'm gonna have three campaigns. I'm gonna have to have three different maps going <laughs> at time. So we're getting another one set up because. Currently, the other one's taking up a Friday night. We're doing a different coloration for uh, to, just to get your all's idea, see which one you like better for tonight. So, if I am correct, that is the command, and that actually. Hmm. Oh yeah, okay. I've got to move that down below that. So that's the current browser, so I need to do another one. So yeah, just a couple technical things this month. But going on with announcements, uh, Able Gamers, I, that is my charity of the month. We are going to make a hard push for it till the 3rd. Third will be the last night I will be having it run. That's when it'll end. But you can also still donate to the Australian Red Cross. Uh, that's why the emblem is still up and all. It will go till 31st. Just For me personally, I want to be pushing my Able Gamers to try to get some donations for it this month as well. But both are still active. So, just give me a moment. I need to find what I need to. Uh, Okay, Fabe. There we go. So we got that going on. I know I need to make it bigger for everyone. So that's going to be about it. Move it down to the other one. There we go. So that's going to be the map program when we need it. <laughs> so just getting that set up as another map for us. Uh, also, as you know, uh, my streaming will be like tonight. I know I'm a little late, but of course our Monday night campaign tomorrow night will be starting our second Kataria group campaign. Uh, Luna may be a bit late still due to fact of dental appointments. She's having a lot of teeth restored. Wishing her best of luck on that. She's still hoping to make it part way through. But we got to establish everyone else that's going to be in it. And we're definitely going to be having someone else join us. Uh, some of you may know him as Elusive Adams. He is actually going to be playing a character as well in the campaign. Uh, and then, of course, Friday night, we do have that campaign. Hopefully, everyone's making it now for at least a week or two. I know Fuzzy's having some floor hockeys. Hopefully, he's doing great at it or whatever. So, <laughs> uh, with that, uh, Beacon, talk about your stream. Well, since you were nice enough to talk about my buddy Co or Elusive Adams, um, yeah, check out our friend Streamer. I mean, he's fantastic. He does Alan Wake with Barry, and he does some Amnesia. Uh, right now he's doing Black Mesa. Uh, we're just trying to help him get to affiliate because I'd like to see him um, get a little bit of recognition for just – his personality and how he treats other people. He's a, a wise man. Um, I kind of 
am jealous that dragon and him know life as well as they do because i'm kind of a youngster compared to them so <laughs> anyways uh enough of that today we beat the highest difficulty of dragon rider so you can stop seeing that crap on uh, dark souls 2 uh for random magic mod i beat velstrad the royal aegeus and the undead crypt and then in aldeus keep i beat uh guardian dragon then I decided with Fuzzy to go ahead and play some to take a break. And we beat uh, Ruin Sentinels and we beat uh, Lost Center. So Fuzzy has one of the Lords dead on uh, Dark Souls 2. So, oh, here is a clip of uh, Jensen gets it. Barry! So, here's a clip of me beating Velstrad if you'd like to watch that. Um, I have some other clips. Just. Let me know if you want to see it. I could DM it or whatever. Um, trying to think of what else. Oh, yeah. So tomorrow, 12 p.m. Eastern time, we'll be doing the game called Blasphemous. It's a Castlevania Dark Souls-like game. Ten bosses. It's not even a gigabyte to download. $15, though. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess it's probably pretty good then. I saw the reviews for it, and I'm like, let's, let's do it. So... And then Friday, I get to try Sans again. I was on his last move, but he killed me. F, as they say, F in chat. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> wish me luck on Friday. Um, Saturday, I'm going to try some Risk of Rain 2 at 12, uh, 12 p.m. Eastern. All my streams start at 12 p.m. Eastern for continuous streams, regular streams. Um, and then... Chris has been doing pretty well at Dark Souls. We're at Lost Bastille right now. <laughs> Don't <laughs> judge me. I use Bastille as a character, but that doesn't mean there's no there. There's a connection, but whatever <laughs> to my main character. But no. Um, Chris is doing so, pretty good. Yeah. How many times have I died? Uh, you've died uh, five times, and then you've died like. A couple of times after that so but i didn't count them because i couldn't record them because we weren't <laughs> in multiplayer i'm nice i'm not totally trashing his record so wish chris luck as he tries to no death run dark souls 2 and i'm doing no bonfires i haven't screwed up once but i've also have actually completed the challenge before it's just this time it's on a fresh character. So I think that's enough with me rambling. So I appreciate you for listening. But then again, we're all ready for Dragon Cowboy. And here he comes back into the seat. Thanks yeah. for the shout out. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah. and Yeah. Yeah, I understand on the key fab. It's just sad that I can't have my Discord be able to look at everything else. Well, I'm got to have Dice Room up. <laughs> I wish I could actually do different tabs with that. That would be great, but got to work with what I got to work with. So at times I had to take it off. Uh, I'm sure it's not going to be a problem anyway. And uh, yeah, so uh, with that, I think we're covering most of everything. But everyone needs to also check out Sin of Anubis. Great guy. He's the one that leads Tyrion Bullet Club. Part of the reason why we spearheaded the uh, Australian Red Cross. Uh, definitely, definitely give him some follows and such. Sub to him if you can. He's a great guy. Knows his Guild Wars too. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I think about everyone's here except for Lola who will be here probably in due course here within a bit. So, I guess it's time to get into the world of Kataria again. And actually, last time we could say they weren't in the normal plane of Kataria, but uh, let's call it a labyrinth plane that they have entered. As they went through a uh, Basically, a barrier wall to this plane in some woods, trying to follow Jamon. Though it looked like the twins that Luna's going after, and we'll find out more about tomorrow, hopefully. 
to maybe a different way south through a tree as they saw that they walked right straight into a tree of course nature druid magics that's possible and with that they kept following these tracks and they noticed another set of tracks and lo and behold they enter this realm and with that they head on into the uh, following this main corridor maze Titania riding on Lavender's back not walking close enough to the walls they didn't find any of the secret doors on their way, though. That probably was a good thing. It's that, probably a good thing that we didn't. <coughs> yeah, at that time, think about it. You would have been in a whole different maze from where Jamon and them are. Hooray for the... <coughs> 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 Sorry about the coughing. I'm still... I uh, was sick partly last week, so still got some of the stuff. Just being choked on, really, I guess you could say. So, they get to the crossroads. They finally made contact with Sylvan. And basically how things were going. Uh, they actually spotted where Jamon and this other person was. And headed that way uh, through lot picking and such from Amethyst. Of course, opening the door quite easy for this. They start following, chasing, and though the summon steed that Amethyst had brought, which was a bass massive, had located them it kind of got fireballed by Jamon. as such mm -hmm. they all started to run to chase after them now with that an interesting exchange happened between amethyst and this dwarf that she was calling jasper being her brother And definitely talking about <laughs> telling mom on them and that sort of thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then it was like, Reso Group is like letting Helen and Titania go on ahead as obviously they can run faster than them and uh, is more than capable of being able to catch up. As such... Helen tried a couple of her comet blasts with lights on them, trying to blind them and such, though it did not work out the way she wanted to, as they kind of resisted it pretty good. Who knows why? Uh, Titania, of course, is trying to get closer to try to use a spell, though. The that dwarf. Is not effective as of now used a uh, kind of like a dimensional door that warlocks can use to just teleport somewhere so that is the point we are at in this to where there's a chase going on so with that i am going to fix this map i see that they got okay uh i see that you got that program so i was just adding things <laughs> well I see that someone was, but I thought we were using a different emblem for. Look at the other map. No, wait a minute. I see what we're doing here. Yeah, it was the rose one we were going to use for Helen in this one. Okay. Yeah. It was the rose one. I know which one it was. <coughs> okay. 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 To be fair, you must have changed it at some point. So hey, it's easy to forget. No, the other one was actually for her other character. That's what got me confused, okay? Well, it used to be like a hand shooting off some ice particles. That's why I say it got changed. 
Well, yeah, I mean, that one, yeah, but no, I was thinking of, uh, there was another one that we're actually using in the other campaign. That's the one I actually thought of, right? Oh, okay, I thought you were talking about hers. All right. Yeah, no, this is it. Okay, so, I'm having to do some quick walls, as such, and, uh, hmm. actually, let me go back to tokens and get this, because this is going to be quite a run. And actually, uh, squares might mean you more. As a group is still trying to catch up, I'm putting those three. And uh, lavender is actually bigger than that. There we go. <laughs> So we had them there. I need uh and I'm just gonna get a yeah. uh, this is a way you think of so there we go. So I will bring up the map momentarily after I figure out how I'm doing the walls because there's a lot of turns. So, this will definitely be getting changed up as we go along. Did someone just click off the other emblem? I didn't do anything. My mouse was nowhere near it. I'm playing Guild Wars. <laughs> Alright, it's still there, it's still there, okay. So, actually, the way the setup would be, and um, I got to do kind of like, so, uh, all right, squares are actually 10 foot each at the moment is a rough estimate. <coughs> you can't make a map that big. Just to uh, kind of get points of reference for everyone for a change. Then I'm having a look through all this. So. Here we go. This is the map at the moment. Now, as such, so basically it was their turn last, if I am correct. So it would yeah, be just... Titania's turn. It was going back to the top of the order to Titania. As I say, the squares are kind of being about... Actually, you would be a little bit farther back, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. You was 110 foot away from them before this happened. So... So, uh... 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So, in this movement, I say to Tanya would get to where you're at right now. Okay. So, uh, I take it Helen is also going to be moving up forward at the same pace, right? Yep. Okay. So, that's the way that turn would go. Don't know what these two are pulling, but they're definitely moving a little bit more. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Yeah, that was. A uh, full turn's movement would be 60 feet. Yes, and that's why I'm. Give me, I mean, I'm just trying to get 70 some. 70 feet? 60. Theirs would oh. actually be 70. Think about it. 
Because yeah. they're 35 foot each, so. Yeah. <clears throat> so, with that, they definitely did some movement. Uh, so, be back to Titania, and I know she's going to be out flat out running, so another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, because you know I'm going to try and bridge that gap as best I can. Yep, uh, 10, 15, 20, sorry, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. With that, as you have turned the corner, you see that the next turn isn't that far. As such, Dwarf's going to kind of move up there. Demonstra's just going to move up a little bit just next to him, telling him to stay back. You will hear this. To Tanya, you are close enough passively to hear this, and you hear arcane usage of draconic something about a wall. <clears throat> okay. Um. And as such, allow me to finish what I'm going to say here because. I want to see which ones they've got. That would work. Well, I guess the standard flame one will work the best. Definitely has it. All of a sudden, you see the light from this. Okay, I got these hallways actually too wide. Understand that. Because if, uh, if squares are 10 foot, they should only be too wide for you all to move through. <coughs> I mean, you both could actually stand on the same square easily. But also, you see firelight happening from this hallway. So it is basically your turn. Okay, give me just a second. Because I have a guess, I want to read something real quick. Yeah. Wait, what? I could have sworn that was. Mm. One second. Okay, that's, I think, what I'm looking for. <clears throat> I know it's so uh, boring listening to me say one second, one second, one second. So, 10, 20, 30, so I'd be able to move to here, right? Yes, you'll move to there, and as you get to that point, you see, like, flames of wall, and it's, like, uh, deep in this corridor. 
I cast. Um, I want to cast Dispel Magic as a fourth level spell. Okay, okay. So you're thinking this is magic, Rachel? Do I have an well, educated guess? I would think Titania would know it's magic considering she heard arcane. Yeah. <laughs> I heard so many casting arcane words. <laughs> All right, then I need you to roll a d20 plus your level. And let's see if you end it or not. So d20 plus eight. Uh, how are you getting plus eight? Or you saying for no? Well, you said plus level. Well, unless you meant level of the spell, which level cool. of the spell. <laughs> okay. Well, you said my level. My level is eight. <coughs> so roll to seventeen. Actually, you failed. You cannot dispel it. You're one off. I'll let you know that right now. You missed it by one. So as you try to dispel this. It's not working. It, it seemed like it was going to at first, but it just, it's still bearing down. It was actually a good thing to think of. So, that, is that it for your turn? That's all I can do, yeah. Alright. Wait, how <laughs> tall is it? Oh, how tall is it? Uh, let's see, uh... <laughs> Let me go with Bastille's sheet as he's got the spell easier on hand and me going looking at my sheet. <laughs> Is it the spell Wall of Fire? Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's what I thought. You <coughs> how you do with fire. Like the wall of Fire. Which took me, that's what it took me forever to find was the Wall of Fire. Yeah. It it's here, it's uh, 60 feet long and 20 feet high. Yeah. It's basically 20 foot high. Yeah. And I was told, don't fly here, right? Yeah, you were. I mean, if you want to try and fly here, I, I would love to see what happens. <laughs> no, I'm fine. <sighs> okay. So with that, Helen, it is your turn. Yeah, I know. I'm showing food in my face. Give me a moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least she's honest about it. Yeah, hey, I don't. Sorry. Yeah. My turn? Your turn. Mm. Oh, the shark on the map's lavender. I mean, they're starting to maybe catch up. <laughs> As things are starting to slow down. Um, I'm going to basically move up where Titania is. Alright. I can do that quick. For you. Uh, oh. Here. Oh, okay. Ish. <laughs> Go right ahead. I can, still do it. I can still do it. I'm just like. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, so you get up to there. You definitely see these 20 foot high flames of wall. It looks like it's layered in there. To I where. To... Now, you did double movement, so. No, I didn't. I only did 35 feet. Technically, you just did 70. You have to remember each space is double spaced. Each space is double spaced right now. Oh, God damn it! Never mind then. I was going to try to use Gust to see if I could blow a hole through it. Well, if not, then I'll just use like... Well, I minutes. mean, I think it is. It'll be next turn. Yeah. So, with that, it goes to their turn, and uh, last time that the mention door happened, to tell you, you probably heard some sort of like a popping sound with this, as these teleports are exact in. 
You kind of hear the same familiarity t this time. You know, it's hard to tell with a flame's roar there. And as such, and we're going to go right back to Tatanka. Um, I uh, to say that I think one or both of them just got farther away, but I'm going to try this again. And I cast the spell magic again at fourth level. All right, do another roll. That is a, I mean, that is actually a pretty good idea. Titania's actually, 21. that will actually dispel this spell. Though it probably helped do the job in time. As such, the flames are now dissipated. You know, you could have saved yourself time and just, you know, since you did it nice, even, you could have just done that. <laughs> Big flame. <laughs> Actually, there's a reason why I did it the other way. <laughs> if you understand the spell, you can actually put out each part, each, like, section of it, the way it's made. You're just dispelling the whole spell. Now, there are different ways to handle that. I've seen people put out the area of fire to walk through because it actually has a hit point system kind of like what helen was trying to do yeah helen's idea would have probably been effective yeah so with the that problem is the whole wind lasts long enough for the others uh depending, depending. it could have so do i see anything through as the fire dissipates, you actually don't see either one of them. And you see that right down the hallway, there are three different paths that could have been taken. But straight, away, straight ahead, even though there is a curve and turn, if they would have even dimension door that way, you would have still seen them. Because this is like line of sight type of spell. So it's probably one of two other ways. And you have to get to that. Which would take another move, double movement. We're going to kind of say now that you're, you kind of got slowed down here. And we're going to kind of put the initiative order on hold. So, just to explain what's happening. And I'll do this on the map. Let me go back to the walls. Because I'll move you guys to where, what you're seeing now. Well, actually, yeah, the knee, the the dispel magic was kind of a knee jerk reaction too. <laughs> I was like. Boom, fire, no. <laughs> Dispel. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was actually a smart thing. I'm going to on your parade. Yeah, trying to. I just got <laughs> lucky there at the end. So, basically what you're rain. seeing... And Dragon's parade. So, basically what mm -hmm. you're seeing now is something like this. Looking down the hallway, you're just past the turn. Three directions they could have gone in, but obviously straight, there's a turn down there that's turning off in the direction. And since you can't see them that way, and you're able to see past this fire, if they did a spell, you should be able to see them that way, is what you would think. But there are two other paths that you can now tell. So... Mm. Which way do you think? Oh no. 
Um, I can shoot. I can use my uh, wild shape as a uh, bonus action, and we're not in combat anyway. Um, can I turn to a? Give me a second. Need to think. So highest I can do right now is still a CR two. What's a good like tracking animal to turn into? It's a decent. That's a CR two. Actually. What? Whatever path you are planning to go down, Helen will send snow down the other path and report back to me or make a sound to let me know which path it is they are down and have her follow them basically well if I'm understanding correctly wouldn't if they if they both moved into the tunnels since it is their turn, wouldn't they be able to see down down the tunnels and figure out which way they went? Oh, well, when they get down there, considering we, time... We that, don't know where they went. You don't know which way on those two side tunnels, which way they went. We just know they didn't go straight, because otherwise I would have seen them when the fires dissipated due to how quickly I was able to disperse them. Correct. Yeah. So, basically, right now, and I'll... We'll just do this in the red fires. Basically, this path is a no-go because there's no way they could have done that with the dimension door with Titania able to see straight down that hallway be able to see them still. Because there is a turn down at the end of it and Titania would have at least seen one of them easily. I'm not saying both would have been easily seen as uh, with the movements and such, but one would have been seen easily. Yeah, the one who couldn't double move. Exactly. Um, so, actually, uh, Wolfie, you had... This is in character. Um, Helen, you have uh, a wolf's nose, don't you? Can you see if you can get their scent? Um... I think if I switch into my full Wolfgarian form, then yes. I could. Mm. Correct, Mr. DM? If I switch to full Wolfgarian form, I would have a higher sense of smell? Uh, no. I she had a higher no. sense of smell. She has a higher sense as is this yeah. form. Due to that's why she has the advantage on rolls. And she does have a strong sense of smell and hearing. So, right. you are welcome to do a perception check to see if you know which way. We're going to say you both have gotten to that point. I'm just having the map as a reference point for people to understand what's going on. <laughs> so, we're going to say you're already down. By, by this time, you're down there. You're just trying to figure out which way they went. Yeah. Right, and the thing is, Titania uh, can do the same thing as well. Sweet. Yep, I'm rolling perception. And that's an advantage roll, right? Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. Since both of you have keen senses. I got 22. Yeah, you always get better than me. Well, Titania cool. is proficient with perception. Yeah, I'm Cons not. Considering, considering the observant feat. <laughs> So, I mean, yeah, back. Okay. Okay. So you got what? Eleven or ten? I mean, ten. Ten. Yeah. I Helen got a ten. Eight. I got a twenty-two. Yeah. No, I wish it was eleven. Yeah, even with an eleven, it would matter. It would matter. But for Titania, it does take you a moment to Tanya. But you're feeling like. That they went the way that Helen may be looking down. AKA, I'm going to put a blue flame as to which way you're thinking they might have gone. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to just say I'm fairly certain that they went this way. If you want to send snow down the other direction, that's fine. But I'm going 
this direction as I start bolting. Uh, Helen just follows. <laughs> so, you we're both I'm going, going to... towards the blue flame. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to follow you. I'm okay. You. Okay. So, you're both are definitely going to go down that alleyway. The party by this time would probably be rounding the curve and see that you went this way at least. So, oh, Amethyst boy. might be a little bit farther <laughs> behind because she's the slowest of the group. <coughs> Not her fault for having small legs. No, I mean, definitely not. So, yeah, so they're definitely coming. So they know you're going down this hallway. Now, as you go down this hallway, all of a sudden, probably your worst nightmare of trying to find them happens. It's a four-way split. When you go another, let's say, 120 feet down this hallway, all of a sudden, yeah, there's somewhat like a four-way split, but all of a sudden, you see, like, right off the bat, 10, 15 doors. I open the first door. <laughs> okay. Okay. Actually... Wait, can I do an investigation <laughs> check to see if it's cracked first? Because I think it's all that first. <laughs> Just due to the fact I feel generous right now. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Yay, yay uh, for that, generous <laughs> to an investigation to check instead of perception or is it perception? Do investigation. Okay, that's what I thought, but I figured I'd double check. So, roll the 20 plus 2. Uh, yeah, I think I just opened the door. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, first door you open. Let me uh, get my nice door notes here. Oh no. The fact that he has notes means a bad <laughs> Hello, Aragog. Well, due to the fact, knowing the party and knowing to Tanya, the first door is actually not the worst thing to open. It's a library. Make me a deck save. Okay. Uh, let me find out what my dexterity is. I know it's not high. It's plus one. Uh-oh. Roll a uh, high, uh, Lola, by the way. Plus two. Plus one. Nineteen. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you'll take half damage here. It's almost like I'm used to being attacked by things when I open things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Titania, when you open this door, though you think you might be worried about trap, it really isn't a trap that's going off here. But when you open it up, you are hit by this gust of wind like it's a hurricane. Rocked you like a hurricane. And as such, uh, you get thrown back <laughs> against a wall from it. Hard. Though you catch yourself to a point. You still will take... <clears throat> Just keep my dust. You'll still take 10 points of bludgeoning damage from this. And, and then I'm going I'm to just say that <laughs> she see it comes, she sees me open the door, blasts against the wall, and then just hears a as my spine certain, suddenly aligns back up. I've been needing a little bit of chiropractic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no dying, no dying. It wasn't that funny. It knocked you... the wind right out of you. Okay, so with that, Ellen, what do you think of this? I mean, I need to hear her opinion when this happens. 
Lucy? Um, <laughs> Helen's just going to stand, look at this, and go, I guess it rocked you like a hurricane then, huh? No. <laughs> rocked As you a like a hurricane. <laughs> 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 Hey, Helen <laughs> did it pun. Bad Helen. <sighs> Helen is actually opening up. Was it a pun or was I trying to break the fourth wall with mentioning a rock and roll song? <laughs> so here's my question. Um, <coughs> still open. <coughs> It actually shut back when you got thrown back. Luckily. Okay. So. Luckily. Okay. That that tells me that my next idea is not a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Do not open it again. No, no, no. I had a different idea, but it would have probably immediately gotten no from the rest of the group anyway. But <laughs> since the DM said luckily, it's probably not a good idea. I mean, it's a great oh. idea, but it's probably going to hurt in the long run. I mean, this is a Titania we're talking do about, so... You tell me, what do you think I was going to do? Open the next door? How? <coughs> By limping over to it? No, I have rope. Use rope. Pull door open. But since he said, luckily... Uh, it makes me a little bit hesitant, which makes me think that uh, some do a little bit more damage than just the door. Well, obviously being thrown back like that, uh, we're going to say as this has happened, finally the uh, rest of you have finally caught up. Titania has gotten up off, well, she was still standing, she just got hit against the wall, didn't fall on her butt. <clears throat> so just around the corner yeah. here, Helen. Say, well, I guess that rocked you like a hurricane. <laughs> yeah, we'll say they heard that. Dying of laughter. <laughs> we we just hear the sound. You go, ha ha ha, ow, ha ha ha, ow, ha ha ha, ow, ha ha ha, ow. So, good news. We are fairly certain the bad guys went this direction. Bad news. Uh, there's 14 other doors that we know that they could have gone into. At least 14. You, you have not gotten an exact count yet. <laughs> there's around 14-ish. I can tell you this. We have at least a lot of doors. One door. <clears throat> Don't open that first door. Can you track their scent to the door that they went through? That would take a perception check, and that is a high DC one. You're not a tracking it. dog, per se. Helen can transform. <coughs> I got a 20. <laughs> I don't think it's high enough, but I'm going to try. <laughs> I believe. As you. much as you want to, it's like it's in this area. You just don't know which door, and possibly the hurricane messed that up for you. Could I have at least lowered how many possible doors it was. Uh, like a general No, it really doesn't know where towards... anything is. <laughs> she rolled a five. <laughs> yeah, I mean on this aspect to Tanya I rolled a double uh, five. It's in this general area. You're not sure which door and you're afraid you might have messed that up when you did open this door that blew that hurricane. Because there was wind. I mean, Helen felt the wind over in her direction also. It definitely shifted all the air and such. Just checks her nose. Pulls a little bit of dirt. Checks her nose. A little bit of dirt. Okay. There's something. <laughs> <laughs> um... They're around, the, the the best I can do is they came down this direction somewhere. I, I, I don't know. I think that wind was probably a bad thing for me to have happen first. Probably. <laughs> yeah, I mean, actually, if she would have just used her nose first and not opened the door, she might have known uh, your better option. <laughs> <coughs> 
<coughs> so to be fair, <laughs> Grom is not fast enough to be able to have said something first. <laughs> yes, that is you true. One hundred percent correct. It's Grom's <laughs> fault. <laughs> I'm not claiming that. <laughs> it's just my. We all know my character's first reaction was not sniff first, open doors later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Titania is the old impulse of him. So with that, what do you all wish to do now that you're all here in the maze of doors? A steel must investigate. He must find him. This maze intrigues him. Alright. So you're doing an investigation. I will corner the right door down like it's the freaking courtroom. Let's see. 24 plus proficiency. Mm. Excuse me. Okay. Alright. Well, luckily that Bastille is already looking around here. Where the smell might have been dissipated, torches don't burn cleanly, as you all would probably know. And with that, being around Bastille, you all probably at one point had hopefully noticed that you have like your ashen like droplets drop and all that sort of thing and this is where Bastille was thinking well wait a minute if Jamon's here he's got to be using a torch he can't see in the dark either like me and he's finally found where he's seen some of these droplets because running with a torch it's definitely going to shake off more so he's starting to follow this down to where there's about Still six doors, and actually, where he walks to, uh, yeah, there's a lot more than just 14 more doors. But he feels that within these six doors is where Jamon and Jasper could have gone. Hmm. Well, Jamon, you haven't completely fooled me yet. Titania door opener, go ahead and uh, try these six doors, please. <laughs> Out of curiosity, what type of doors are these? They look like plain wooden doors that could be on a house, whatever. Okay, I'm seeing like the doorknobs. Like, are they like a typical doorknob, or are they like ancient like style, like where you put your hand and you pull the little lever latch down in order to open the door? Like what? Well, I'm well, here. Dungeon and Dragons here. Think of like a, it's a lever system that you have to pull like something to make it open. Can I tie a rope around it in order to pull it open? Uh, by trying to tie a rope to it, it would actually already open the door per se. It doesn't take mm -hmm. much to pull it open like that. With a rope. Now, not saying you can't use something else that might be able to do it. I don't have mage hand. <laughs> Does anybody else have mage hand? That's my question. <laughs> do you still? My other character has mage hand. <laughs> I don't think anyone here has mage hand. Darn it! Such a good cantrip. Um, it is a good cantrip, but some people nobody just... has it. <laughs> Wait, what is mage, mage hand? hand. Uh, it would totally be able to help. I us have in this that as a cantrip. Do you? Are you sure? I have mage. Yes. Oh, you actually, she does. She does. She does. She does have that wizard spell. Use <coughs> the doors. Save us all from getting hurt. <laughs> Uh, okay, now there are six doors here. I'm backing up. <laughs> Which one of the six doors? There's three on each side of this hallway. Which one do you want to open? Open the middle right. 
as bad of an idea as it is, you can open two at a time with twin spell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love where this is going, but technically, if I do, I will actually use twin spell and open the first two doors somewhat closest to us, even though we're nice far away. Uh, yeah, I'm like I'm backing up. Like I'm getting behind the group at the moment <laughs> just because of the last door. <laughs> You're backing like, up, yeah. I got hit once. I'm good, bro. So you want to open the first two simultaneously? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you're going twin spell. So that's going to put you down to what? Two uh, sorcery points as you did refresh a fourth level? I believe so. Yes. Okay, just making sure on your sorcery point. Uh, who's going to be right there with Helen? Because I, I, I'm still making sure about the distance on Mage Hand. I forgot she did actually have Mage Hand. Is it? Yeah, it's just 30 foot away from I have to be. 30 foot away from Yeah. Okay. So I'm... I'll, I'll stand behind her uh, to I'm... make sure she doesn't get blasted okay. backwards. Okay. Uh, I'm staying nice and far away, too. What are you talking about? Oh, I mean, you're going to try to be we at the max distance. Doors. Yeah. You never know. He's got a good point. True. So with that, you're opening the first two doors. Okay. Uh, as they would both be opening. I'm trying to make sure where everyone's standing. So where is Amethyst at here? Uh, Amethyst is looking at her spells right now. Okay. Oh, Amethyst is looking at standing next to me. Like, <laughs> I was actually going to cast Shield of Faith, but since I'm apparently too far away, I guess I can't protect anybody. No, you're right there with the group now, so you can cast it on whoever you oh. wish. Okay. All right. Um, I cast Shield of Faith. Um, which will grant you a plus two AC. Um, as a, as a warding concentration. Oh, crap. Okay. I uh. I don't remember how, what spells I used last. No, 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 no. That's fine. You can do that. That's actually just a first level. Yeah, okay. So, I cast Shield of Faith. On? On Helen, and since I'm near her now, I don't... Do you have the 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 shield thingy? I've got the shield thingy that makes that gives everybody a plus two on um plus two on saves. Yes, you do saves. have that, but that you have to be within ten feet of them. Oh, uh, actually, no, no, I'm like this. Grom can do that also. He's got it yeah, too. Yeah, that was that was gonna. I was wondering if Grom had it. Yeah, Grom does have I that. Have it. So, if the two of us are flanking her, would that give her a total of plus four? I do not believe it stacks. You want to get that close? Oh, okay, no stacks. All right, so I'll... I don't know. Ahead. Let me relook at this. I do not know. Let me look at this. Okay. Some things do not stack like that, and that, I think this is one of those. I could be wrong, though. From the from what I'm reading on the ability, it it would stack because it says while you are conscious, you grant all yeah. the friendly creatures. Okay, that's what I wanted. So yes, creatures. actually, if you were right there with her as well, she would get plus four, as you two would have plus four, as you're befriending each other with an extra plus two. All right, so I'll stand up alongside Grom, besides Helen, and cast. Um, Shield of, shield of faith. Shield of faith on Helen. So she's now from. She's now got an AC of eighteen. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Talk about the techiest sorcerer probably in the history of. <laughs> Protect me. <laughs> <coughs> okay. 
So, where's Bastille? I take it Bastille's going to be kind of back there with uh, Lavender and Titania. Yes, because I don't want me hurt. No, no, no. <laughs> For fuck's sakes. Oh, I understand, but okay. So, I, I have this in my head. Both doors open. Probably the worst thing you could have done at the same time. I need deck saves from the three that is within 30 feet of the door. Doors. Alright, so that's three plus three plus two so plus two is a... seven. Would that be a plus four for me then? No, it would not be a plus six for Shield of Faith as well. No, Shield of Faith is just an AC bonus. It does not give you a... Okay. So you're getting a plus four it's on your deck save. Yes. All right. Oh, shit. I'm not a dex person. Well... Well, you're lucky you got a healer standing next to you. Two healers. Well, I don't know if I would consider Grom as much of a healer as I would Lola in this set. Oh, for sure. But, <coughs> but Grom still has the lay on hands. Yeah, now you don't... Alright. I know Lola's shield master. Correct? I am. So basically, you can escape without damage, since you made your save. Sorry, I'm having to count to see exactly how many dice I had to pull out all a lot of d6 <laughs> here. So, what do I see? <laughs> oh, I'll explain <laughs> here in a minute. Okay. <laughs> I, I do... I have uh, one question for you, do, DM. We do, we do well. Yes. Since I also have Shield Master. Are you armed with a shield, though? Yep. Uh, it okay. is. Yeah. As it. Hmm. <laughs> See, oh, here's so the thing about being a Shield Master. That means you're using a shield as a shield and not strapped to your armor for extra shielding. Yes, we had talked about this before, and you did say I could use that shield for the Shield Master feat. That okay. was confirmed. Okay. Alright. Well, I guess both of you are going to escape without damage. Helen, on the um, other hand... No. Here's the thing. You, it's an area I'm effect spells that's hitting both of you from both of the doors. Yes, I was... Wondering if I could, instead of taking no damage with the Shield Master feat, if I could... No, it doesn't work like that. I don't believe it works that way. I, it does not. I was... Yeah. Uh, have it so Helen takes half damage. Yeah. Instead, yeah. While I also take half damage. Yes, I see what you're trying to do here. And I give you full credit for how you're trying to think. But, here's where this makes it. If you are subject to an effect that allows you to make a dexterity saving throw to take only half damage, you can use your reaction to take no damage if you can succeed on the saving throw. Interposing your shield between yourself and the source of the effect. Correct. It does not work for so you to put it in front of someone else. It's for you and you alone. So as I say, okay. both you and Amethyst can escape unscathed here. No, it does not hurt. In fact, I no, it does not hurt asking. Uh, this is something, though, that can get confusing. With certain feats, oh, well, but that's where you have to really look at the wording. No, it's not that I was conf confused about it. I know how it works. I was thinking maybe we could home, like, tweak it a little bit so I could. Instead uh, of yeah, I, taking no well, damage, that will I have could... to be discussed 
afterwards. Right now, I have to rule it the way I do. Okay. I mean, no offense. I have to rule it that no, way. No, that's, that's why I was asking. Yep. Ooh. And twenty thirty. Forty. It sounds like Helen is going to be taking a fair bit of damage. Uh, yeah. In fact, it's probably enough to knock her out. Or, no, actually, no, it's not. It's, uh, 59 points of fire damage. Oh, dear. So, the rest of you that stood back farther from this, yeah, you don't open two doors and have, like, major fireballs blasting out, hitting the place. Did both doors contain fireballs? Yep. <coughs> oh dear. Oh, Helen would wait. just say, that is <coughs> 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 wait. And also doors facing each other? Yeah, so they both come right out into the middle of the hallway. As is intended. Damn it. So both just squish her with fire. Yeah. No, we were 30 feet away. We were 30, 30 feet away from the door. These are we specialized. Were... This is the way it works. I, I thought know. it was... I, I, I kind of envisioned like we we're looking at a round wall with an arc of doors. No, this is a contained hallway. So, so there's doors on either side. Yep, and they were facing, they go to the wall, and this kind of fire blast that's happening goes down the hallway about 40 feet in each direction. So it's coming close to the others, but I'm taking in effect, they're stepping back an extra 10 to 20 feet behind the group. So they were staying out of range of it. But it was getting close to them. For Amethyst and Grom, with their shield expertise, they literally take no damage from this. But as I say, 59 points of damage to hell, and she's still standing from this. But she be... She, she she's be, hurting. She's really I'm hurting. hurting. Uh, I'm assuming both of us are, like, instantly turning to her and laying hands on. Uh, if that is what you're yeah. wishing to do. I, I would think so. Uh, I think that would be the kind thing to do. How many points are you gonna put in? Uh, how much? Points, how much total damage did you take, Helen? Fifty-nine points of damage. Not my best idea. <laughs> Fifty-nine points of damage. All right. Well, we can pretty much. Uh, I'll give her thirty, uh, because my pool is forty. Both of our pools are forty. That's why I was asking. Yeah. So we can pretty much, if we want to do thirty a piece, we'll fully heal her. Or if one does thirty, one does twenty nine. Who's gonna do the twenty nine? You can do the twenty nine, Grom. Uh sounds good. I am sick. I have other heels. Okay. So basically Basically you see both of these people all of a sudden placing their hands on Helen. And radiant light coming from both of them is it looks like you're just healed. I mean, you felt all the pain and all of a sudden it's just gone, Helen. Grom would, Grom would look at his hand and then just kind of shake it a little bit saying that that still feels weird. Yeah. Well, I'd <coughs> behind you and I'd hug you and be like, well, who's even more of a protector now? 
that can even heal us from our uh, pain and such. And then I say a little bit quieter. I'm like, I swear, Jermon, if you're the one that rigged these doors, you're going to have a problem. So, okay, those two doors are out. So, hey, there's only four doors left. Yeah. But the thing is, uh, even though May 10 is a cantrip, you can do it again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's power, but it still costs one. It would still cost one of her sorcery points, and she wants to open another two doors at the same time. Now, no, I don't. Okay, <laughs> actually, I'm glad someone's going to use their head here finally. <coughs> hey, I thought I thought it was a good idea. <coughs> no, as I said, Helen stated as she was being healed. That was not one of my better ideas. Yeah. Fully aware yeah. that she did something stupid. It was a dumb idea, but it was a okay idea. Yeah, it worked out. You're fine. Almost I nothing open. happened. Almost. <laughs> 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 the opened up the rest of the doors one at a time. Okay. <laughs> so which door do you wish to open next? Probably the third one. I'm just one. going to go down the row. Yeah. Okay, so the first two doors on both sides of the hallway have been opened. So in the next two, left or right? Right. Okay. So you reach up, open the door. Nothing happens right off. Right off. <laughs> what what's inside the door? What's past it? I don't know. You're you're still staying way back from it. You're only you're you're doing this at max range. You can't look inside the door. I wait thirty seconds <laughs> before going up. Grom would step forward to like look into where the door is. Like into the door frame to see what's past that door. Well, good thing it's Grom and not anyone else, as probably the hammer is in hand, of course, of, with him. Of course. You look inside, and there is like a few. I mean, this isn't demonic. It, well, it would. You would think it was demonic, but yeah, you know it isn't real. This is like an illusion, and something's trying to charm you, but with the hammer in hand, it's like, oh, close the door. They're not in here. It's not this one. He closes it. Right. <coughs> is the middle door on the left side. All right. Uh, Grom, are you going to walk back before she does this, or? I would step back at least a good 10 feet. Okay. Down the hallway. Shield at the ready. All right. Uh, the door opens. Nothing immediate is happening. Once a little bit of time has passed, Grom would start walking forward to look into the into the door frame. You look in there, and it's a it's dark. You can't see any. It, it's just like a darkness you can't see through. I don't think Jermon would have gone through here either. I don't. I don't believe any of them could see through darkness like that. <laughs> well, make me a perception check anyway, just to. Okay. I got a nineteen. 
Even though you say this, Grom, you start maybe second doubting yourself, looking down like just up maybe an inch or so past the door frame. And you saw what Bastille was doing earlier to figure out which set of doors it could have been. The the ashes are this way? Uh, you seem kind of like a droplet of what would have come off a torch, yes. I mean, it's right past the door frame now, so... Uh, can I walk up to him since he's taking forever to look down the door? <laughs> yeah, you can. What's up? <laughs> it's a thing from a, uh, Jermon's torch. What are mm. torches normally dipped in pitch? Pitch, oil, with a uh, cloth usually, yes. Can I use produce flame and throw it down the uh, hallway to see if anything happens? What? Throw it into that room? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. That's a cantrip for you. I mean, yeah, if you want to. I just produce flame. How about we try this? And I throw, chuck the flame into the door. <laughs> into the doorway. What happens? <laughs> I'm half expecting darkness. <laughs> Ow, that burns, you fucker. <laughs> that would just be too funny, in my opinion. <clears throat> it hits something. With your passive perception, you know it hits something, and you start hearing a low growl. See, this is why we should not piss off minotaurs. I don't believe that's the sound of a minotaur. I think that's exactly the sound of a minotaur. A growl? A growl. And yeah, I can we... tell you right now, a minotaur would not probably growl like this. So let's get off the minotaur talk. Minotaurs are races that actually would be in a labyrinth. It's tall tail in Kataria. <laughs> Either way. Um... Either way, moving on. <laughs> so. I'm going to back up now. <laughs> I'm getting away from the door. <laughs> Did I see anything out of curiosity when I threw the flame in before it hit the thing? Well, that's the thing. As it went in, about 10 feet after it goes in, you can't see the flame anymore. Okay, is, so I'm still fairly certain of the darkness is spell. Is this just like the obscuring darkness that we encountered in the forest? No, 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 no. This is like a magical darkness set. Yeah, probably, you know, the spell darkness. Oh, there's a, there, I didn't realize there was a specific I think, spell I'm pretty darkness. sure there's a spell called darkness. Yeah, there actually is. There's different variations of it, but yes. <laughs> but also, something in there is that you're a bit angry. Because <laughs> Titania's aim is probably... <laughs> What, a him in the crotch or something? I don't know. You don't know what you hit in there. Now, are you leaving the door open or what? I leave that to ground. I walked off. I, I backed off. <laughs> I backed <coughs> off wherever it was and I backed off. <laughs> uh, he would probably step back away from the door if I keep it. Uh... Uh, no, he would close it for now. Uh, question, is it a familiar sound? Is it one we've heard before? This type of growl? Uh, due to Titania and Grom's the only two that probably could hear it of the group. They can roll a nature history 
even animal handling. I'll even allow animal handling in this as they are. Well, Grom used to be very. You said animal handling, history, or nature? Yes. All of them are plus zero for me. <laughs> I'm doing, I'm doing um, animal handling because that's a plus six for me. And I got a 22 out of it. Okay. And even if you want to go to nature as opposed to it's a 21. So either way. Because I'm proficient in both of those. <laughs> All right. Why would your animal handling be one more than your I got a not 20. <laughs> nice. So it, I am, it my it doesn't matter which one I go with. All of them are plus zero, so it's really up to you, dragon. Animal animal handling is a wisdom based, and nature is an intelligence based. That's why one's a plus six and one's plus five. Oh, that's yeah. right. I was I was getting that confused <laughs> with something, but that's fine. I wish so, that survival two should have been added. I forgot survival, but that's okay. I'm I would never do survival if given the choice. <laughs> yeah. Because my character does not have that instinct. <laughs> no, not. Okay, well, for you two, oh, uh, yeah. For some reason, you know this sound. How you know this sound, whoever knows. But let's just say this is a... Uh, uh, let's see if I can come up with the exact name for you guys to understand. But let's just say that even though it sounds like one growl, it's actually more than one. Coming from a few oh different boy. mouths. Oh boy. I know what it is. <laughs> yeah, it would be on all fours. Oh, it's a three headed dog. It's a <laughs> yeah. I can't remember. <coughs> Dante's behind us, and he's like, "Come on, Fido, let's go." <laughs> no, it's Fluffy. <laughs> yeah, and who knows where it probably landed that you'll fire or that Titania threw, but probably not the best thing in the world to throw. <laughs> well, actually. It would harm it. Honestly, I think that's probably the best thing that could have, that yeah, could have been thrown in there. Yeah, it's the least likely Because it's fire. Yeah. Mm, yeah you don't know what type of service this is, though. Most, ser one? most Cerberus have... Are fire, yes, but... Have protection from fire. Most. To be, to be fair, you're, you, you're correct. I, I say most. <laughs> Yeah, and considering this is such a dark room, maybe not fire on this one, <laughs> now that you think about it. So, all, I know, all I know is this. Reading those books with audio clues is really... No. It's a great thing they got audio books at those libraries, huh? <laughs> Oh, the magical books that can talk to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. But they're magical. They're not... <laughs> they're not mechanical. <laughs> yeah. So, two doors left. <laughs> if you want to try them. As obviously, well, Grom's walking away from that door a bit. <laughs> yeah, I closed it. I closed the door. But I am going to use uh, what would he I'm going to use a little bit of the flint from the tinder box to like mark that door. If you're wanting to mark, so, I mean, you, I mean, you like, can do that. I mean, that's fine if you wish to do it that way. Or uh, you can always ask someone for something to write with. I'm sure there's someone in the party that has some. Yeah, I don't sit around and draw when I'm bored. 
Why would Helen do that? <laughs> it's not I like a hobby of hers or anything. <laughs> no, totally Helen just learns languages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I learned all the languages. <laughs> Damn, languages are very DM important. Um. Okay, Grom just looks to Helen and says, "Can you mark this door as a?" Uh, possible um, possible point candidate yeah one of those words <laughs> very well someone goes and does that okay kind of um, very upset door now because of how Grom acted with the door. Just kind of weary. Just don't open it. <laughs> there. There is yeah, I mean, Helen's insight. She's already telling, okay, there's something bad behind this door. She can tell this passively. She's there is very a, insightful. I'm just like looking at you guys. What did you piss off? <laughs> there, there <is> <laughs> There is a big puppy in there. Big, big puppy. Wonder, wonder what the challenge rating is on it. <laughs> uh, I don't know, but I think Hades would love to probably not have that end up upset. Hmm. Anyway. No, I'm not going to add that in. That's, But anyway, I do call it fluffy. Like, that part's canon. Me saying the Hades part just because... You know, but the fluffy part is in... Okay, so well, already fluffy. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, something like that sin, I think they would have a hard problem pr doing. So don't worry about it. Keep using the name if they really want to try to pull something. Uh, due to that's abandoning your YouTube person. Nothing can really happen. It's two different things. So, back to this. Okay, two more doors to open. Yeah, Helen on that door draws a uh, puppy dog with a uh, circle and a line through it. <laughs> Let's not enter. And she immediately looks like Rob for that one, too. <laughs> okay. Uh, last door on the right side. Okay, last door on the right side. Uh, of course, I I take it everyone's backing up before you do this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. okay. Helen's opening the door. Of course, nothing's happening. Grom. Hi. Look through the door. After about 30 seconds to a minute, so long as nothing has happened. Nothing's happening. He, uh... He then goes and, uh... Looks through the door. You found probably Titania's dream place. A library. Well, you can say library. I mean, it's definitely got shelves of books as far as you can see. Is there a giant owl in it? No. Okay. <laughs> is there any way to tell whether this is real? Uh, send the tongue in it. <laughs> that best still throw a fireball in it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Do not burn the books. Oh, okay. I'm going to state this right now. If my wife is listening to this part about burning a library, she probably would kill y'all. But if it's not real. 
<laughs> if it's all fake, then I'm not really. It's not going to burn. Um, I go up to. I go up to Grom if he doesn't make any comments to see what he's looking at. Because, like, if the door appears safe, I have no qualms looking in it. Grom would close the door. <laughs> Before or after I got there. Alright, so you are going into the library? Before. What's going on now? I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> Grom's trying to close the door before I got there. So Grom's trying to close the door before you get there. Yeah. Hmm. How close? Okay, so Titania was already moving to go see what's in the door. Cause did Grom state anything about library to group? Actually, let's. He's no. going to state something about it after he closes. <coughs> Okay, so no one actually knows, as in the party in the game. So Grom is closing the door. All right, so I was walking up to see what's in the door. Yeah. Excuse me. Okay, he he looks to uh, to Tanya and says, "We can come back to this one at a different time." That is not a good answer. <laughs> um, all we, right. would we would lose you from the party if you went through this door. Amethyst this is the way that quietly, while these two guys are arguing, Amethyst quietly walks up to the door and casts Arcane Lock. Arcane Lock on which door? On the door that Grom just slammed shut. I didn't slam it shut. I just closed it. Oh, well, okay. On the door that he just quietly closed. <sighs> okay, let me look at the spell. I mean, Amethyst can cast this spell. It is a second level spell, actually. Okay, Grom... Grom would just look at Titania and say, "There are, there are a bunch of, um, a whole bunch of books in there, like a crap ton." And did you make sure that the people that were going through did not go through there? We really need to check that last door because I have a feeling they might be through there. Jermon did look at a book um, about some malevolent things, I'm pretty sure, recently, if you do recall. Mm. So you want to open up the last door? Now, the thing is, uh, yes, you can cast Arcane Lock on it. Are you still wanting to, Amethyst, or? I think oh, it's a I waste don't know. of a spell sure slot, he's... in my opinion. Hmm? I think it's a waste of a spell slot, in my opinion. All right, retcon. All right, because I'm going to say, when you finally anyone. walked up, but still would have said this, and maybe you're like, uh, why waste the spell? If Titania gets in there, maybe it is then the I correct way. <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> um, <coughs> do such a thing. Uh, so, I'm taking it, you're going to do... So, I take it Helen is going to use May 10 on the last door. Is everyone, where is everyone backing up to? As everyone has moved to a point, I think it's... Are we going to mark the library then, anybody? I just put... I can't tell another um, Be right back in a moment. Putting a little heart around it 
<laughs> Aww. <laughs> so cute. And point to her, and then point to the door. Not saying a word, just... Are you a heart? Oh, I think that Tanya would love that. too. <laughs> inside a heart. Uh-huh. I look at Hal and I'm like, 10 of 10! <laughs> And then, yes, I would go open the last door. So while Grom is in the orcs room, uh, shall we take a break? I think this is a very good point. We do need to take a quick break, and we'll find out what comes out of this last door that they're wanting to open, and then which way are they going to go is the next question. Be right back, everyone.
Okay, everyone, we're coming back. And... With that, uh... You got less door to open, uh... So, just making sure, everyone's kind of taking a, I mean, I'm wearing no distances from the door and such, that's normal. Like, I've been asking for every single door, so. <laughs> I'm with Lavender. <laughs> I mean, if they're opening the other door, I'm backing back off again. <laughs> like, I'm not... I'll stay by, um, I'll stay by Mr. Door Opener. Or Mrs. Grom. Mrs. Door Opener, you mean? I said, what? You said Mr. Oh, you're, <laughs> you're the one opening the door? Oh, all right. I will stand behind the, uh, squishy person who is, uh... She's using Mage Hand <laughs> to do it. That's the one thing. So she's trying to have distance as well. So where's Grom right. going to stand? Mm-hmm. Um, probably about 15 feet away. Stop. Okay. okay. So, Helen is opening the door, right? Yeah. Grom, make me a deck save. <laughs> oh, thank God. At least this one's a shorter distance than the other one what? Or the other two were. Still, oh, uh, thank God. I should still, I get plus four, right? Because I should still be within range of. Uh, it's only a ten amethyst? foot range. Uh, well, I'll let it be. She's standing next to. I'm standing next to Helen. I'm thirty feet away. I'm staying at max range. Yeah. I'll technically let you have it. I'll, I'll technically let you have the plus four. You barely saved. I'm going to take it. You're going to, again, use your... Yeah. Okay. I'm not even going to bother rolling dice then, but I will explain what happens here. Like, the first door, two doors you opened, there were, like, two fire-type explosions that would go along the hallway majorly. That's why the damage was as high as it was. This time, however, it's not fire. It's ice. But this ice is not just, like, clear ice that you've seen Helen have. There's a uh, greenish tint to this. <laughs> I think I know what the second second flavor is. So, luckily for Grom, he's able to do some crazy dancing, deflecting this ice to where none of it hits him. Where he has to make a con save. But it only goes about 20 foot. So everyone else is safe seeing this. Though you see some eyes sticking into the door across from it. And possibly hit uh, the other doors that would be right there behind Grom probably. Now can we go into the room with the library? <coughs> no. We've lowered it to six. We got two options that are not damaging. We have a library or we have a room with a three-headed giant dog. 
So while you're doing that, I just go door with the library and I just open it. I'm like, be quiet in the library. And I just go on in. <laughs> I follow right behind the steel. <coughs> Okay. okay. What's everyone else doing? Um, I need to understand the basics about about the spell darkness. Like, to magical it darkness seems to that me... prevents any light from being put through. Put through, and it makes it to where even people with dark vision cannot see. Um. So, air, for example, can radiant magic dispel it? Amethyst um... would know this. I do not. Uh, so. not control. exactly. No, I don't believe so. Though I actually would like to look at that just to make sure if I'm correct on it. But yeah, if you, the point you choose an object you're holding, darkness remains completely covered. Okay, So I'm, I'm, I'm going to note here, it says if any of this spell's area overlaps with an area of light created by a spell of second level or lower, the spell that created the light is dispelled. Does that mean that the fire I threw in would have actually been dispelled as soon as it went in the, in the darkness? Yes. It would well, have. There, there but There's a difference between a light spell and a fire spell. Fires, I think the the main element of the fire spell is burning, not necessarily illumination. Okay. That is I mean, correct. I, it was just a curious question because I wasn't sure. It was not a light spell. Light. So, But radiant magic, however, would be light spells. Correct. And could it illuminate it? Well, you see what happens with second level or lower. Paladins aren't going to be the strongest on this. Now, if you had a cleric in the group, that might be a different story. <laughs> yeah, I'm only at second level spells, I'm pretty sure. Like, all of my spells, the highest they go is second level. Yeah. yeah. So, Amethyst is going to say... If someone was I mean, chasing you, what would you most likely put behind you? A giant deer headed dog. You went into the library. You can answer. <laughs> I I know it's. I know I'm already through the door. I know. You are already through the door. Uh, so what do the um? There's only two of us left. So what do Helen and Grom think of my question? I think I left my window open. Give me just one second. The dog. They know we can't see in that darkness. They know we can't see in Back. that darkness. Yet they also know there's a dog in there. Right, so I just find it a lot less likely that they're going to be dawdling in a library while we're after them. I think the library... I think they thought the library would be our first choice to go through. <sighs> and they were right about a couple of us. <laughs> a couple, yes. Should I believe them? No. Best to stick together. Graham? You've been awful quiet. Oh, is Graham still in the bathroom? No, I'm here. Okay, there you are. <laughs> um...
something big that's hard to get through. That server is kind of fits the bill. What we've got here is a case of carrot and stick. The big dog is the stick. In the library is a very obvious carrot. Or uh, at least obvious to some of us. <laughs> is there a chance you think you can persuade either of them to... You know. Yeah, give me a moment. Helen goes and stands in the library door looking for uh, Titania and Bastille. How far would Bastille and Titania have already walked into this place? Um, I go in there pretty deep because, um, well, what I'm thinking is uh, I'm going to hopefully find him try I, or, you know, who trying to find a book or something because who knows what German knows. I mean, I'm just taking a stab at the dark. I think we all are. So, I mean, mm -hmm. okay. We'll just say deep. Well, you definitely walked in there. It seems like you've walked... <laughs> And with this discussion that happened outside, oh, you probably have covered 120 foot, and there's like no end in sight as you've walked so far. Titania, are you staying right behind, but still, or have you already stopped looking at books? Me stop looking at books? Is that what the question was? Yeah, have you stopped to look at books, or are you staying with Bastille? Oh, no, I already started looking at books. Like, you, I was about to ask if I could get a... <laughs> Um, a perception check to look for language books. <laughs> Go right ahead. And actually, it would be investigation, not perception. I'll roll an investigation roll, but I'm going to roll if there's any kind of indicator of, like, hidden passageways or, you know, anything cluing us off that Jermon might be, uh, you know, somewhere in this realm where I have no idea where he's at. <laughs> All right, so. Proficiency. No proficiency. It sucks. <laughs> okay, well, uh. We'll, we'll go to Titania first. Uh, as you're looking at these books, Titania, there's something that already strikes you strangely. First off, there's no language books. But they're written in a language that probably you're the only one in this whole group knows. No, Mish. Or the the gibberish language. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, basically the one that you went gallivating with the goddess for. It's the one I'm talking about. All right. So, do I get anything specific out of this? Like... Am I, is anything specifically sticking out, is what I mean. Okay, well, in this language, you're seeing some of these titles. And some of them are like the ongoing history of the orgs, ongoing history of different races. And it's like more than you thought was even possible. And there's even stuff being stated that it's like... It's very confusing. This is almost like a library of possibly the dragons could use or gods and such. Mm. Well, you seem, these books seem useful. <laughs> Why, 
to Tanya says that. Back over to Bastille. I go over to Clueless. <laughs> uh, there is definitely no secret passages, though. You try to... You have already tried thinking of, like, book switches and such, as an investigator would. I mean, you are proficient, so you're, you're thinking of any little thing. So you're trying different books, and one thing you've already noticed, it's like when you touch it, the books, and try to pull, you can't even pull on these books. These books are, like, so heavy, you can't even pick them up. So you can't even move them, it seems. I'm just like, well, quietly, of course, because it's a library. And I was like, well, time to return to the others. And uh, because I'm not a numb skull, unless the floor changes on me, I just walk back to the door. So at least in the direction that I was going, because I, unless there was a bunch of divergent paths and stuff, I literally just went straight to try to look the There's library, way so. places you could have, but I felt like you just walked straight. You yep. didn't. Okay. Yep. So you can turn around, and walk straight back, with no problem. Titania, what are you going to try to do? <laughs> um. Where do you want to? I mean. I try and pull out a book. I don't know. Because I assume I probably didn't see Bastille do anything. Oh, no. Nah. I mean, you're too engrossed in these books. Uh, by chance, what book would you want? Just tell me, like, whatever. I mean, a lot of this is just history of uh, people and places. Or do you want me to just do a random roll as to what you pull? Is there one that's uh, named, like, History of Demons or History of Bowsereth, out of curiosity? Oh, yeah. I want to grab that one. <laughs> well, it comes off for you. Hello. <laughs> I have a hunch why that is, but... Um, did any negative effects happen when I did so? As far as you can tell, no. Not at the moment. I also grab one that says History of Dragons. That you Thanks actually so don't find one on dragons, actually. <laughs> yeah, that one you don't see in this area, so not say it could be in this library, you just don't see it in this area. All right. Um, is there any that says something like history of the universe, of the multiverse? I mean, or map of the multiverse? I don't know why that just that one comes to mind. Yeah, there is actually, like, a, a book that's stating map to all the different verses of Kataria. How big are these books? Can I grab that book? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can take it off the shelf if you wish. <laughs> They're as yes. big as Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. <laughs> Now, these books, we're going to say, uh, you know, these big unabridged dictionaries, uh, probably a little bigger than the big, thick telephone books that some people would know. Uh, let's just say, you know, some of these tomes that people would pull off that's so dusty and like put on a table that makes a, yeah, so. Titania's just pulled the second book on top of this first one. They're both like this. So, Are so talking about 15 pounds? Yeah, 15, 20 pounds now of weight at least in her arms. So 
So that very persuasive argument that you were using to Tanya was just so you could get in and shop for books. <laughs> yes. I mean, there is still a possibility they came through here, but let's be honest, books. <laughs> Note to self, never trust a Tanya, not even when she makes a persuasive argument. <laughs> No, I could still make I a mean, persuasive Helen argument, but still have another reasoning. In that, is seeing this and doesn't have a chance to talk at all. Uh, you're welcome to go ahead and talk if you wish. You're there. You see this happening, Helen. Well, that was going to be my next question. Can Helen see? Uh, yeah, she can yet? see. Yeah, this yeah. is just straight in. She can see, but still has turned and is starting to walk back now. To Tanya, as much as I would love you to stay here and all, this is actually a trap for us. They want us to come to the library because they think we would have gone to it. The actual true way to go is towards the big fluffy dog. <laughs> That's the where sweet they went. Puppy. That is where they went. That's where we need to go. Well, I already grabbed the part that would be interesting, so I just put the books in my bag of holding. You're going to put these books into your bag of holding. I'm going to rope tie them shut first. You're still putting them into your bag of holding. Correct? I want this confirmed. I mean, the fact that you're asking makes me want to say no. <laughs> I mean, I'm just asking. I, mean, I got no reason. I got no okay. reason not to. All right. So, Helen would con Katana, we're on in a alternate plane. <laughs> that hasn't. <stopped laughs> <happening. coughs> You're wanting to take books out of an alternate plane. Okay. Into a bag of holding. Okay. As you see this happen, though, Helen, when she she goes ahead and ties these books, just. For some reason, who knows? And she puts them into the bag of holding. All of a sudden, they're back on the bookshelf. All right. <laughs> Rent only. Got it. <coughs> <coughs> I mean, I can I can deal with rent only. <laughs> um. I'm. We're, I'm going to want to find a way to get back here. <laughs> but, yeah, let's... Yeah. We're good. Okay, so, to tell you just see this happen. Knowing I'm Helen is probably I'm correct. I didn't get a little defeated look on my face like, oh. <laughs> With that. With that. But still, when Titania comes out, luckily they didn't turn down any of the sideways or anything like that. Mm hmm. And the door is closed. Someday, Titania will probably come back to this library and be lost in there forever, so. <laughs> That's how this campaign ends. <laughs> <laughs> So, y'all are going to go back to the room with good old Fluffy, as we're going to call it, since y'all want to use that, even though that may be trademark and we might not be able to. Yeah, we could get in deep trouble now. Oh. Why don't we call him Spot? Okay. That's, no, that's also Spike. another trademark. <laughs> but it's common enough that it isn't um, that, I mean, that Fluffy, stand you up can make the same argument court. the name Fluffy is common enough but I don't know any spot that's na that is Cerberus named Spot There's a book. There's what book, a book has a Cerberus named Spot it's actually a book about a dog named Spot it's a children's book okay is it a Cerberus three headed dog book though see, see no. Spot run yeah, see, spot run. 
Yeah, but you're not going to get a copyright claim on using the name Spot for a Cerberus just because it was used as a dog in a book. <laughs> yeah. It's most likely going to die. <laughs> so you go back to the other door, and I take it you're going to open it. In we go. When we open the door, can I use the spell magic at third level? Well, if the darkness is still there. Oh, darkness is there, but I'm going to let you know right now. Don't waste the spell. Okay. And there's a reason why I'm telling you that. Even though it might be a magical darkness, it's one that if you were level 20, I would let you try to dispel it, but... It's a very high level. Yeah. So, I, mean, I have some good news about the name Spot. The phrase Sea Spot Run um, is actually from the Dick and Jane books, so we're clear. <gasps> <laughs> so, the door is open. Titania is trying to decide if she wants to try to spell or not. I mean, you have a 1 in 20 chance to do it on a die. No. You have a 5% chance. <laughs> I don't get nat 20s that often. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, there is that darkness in there. Uh, passively perceptive, you're not hearing anything at the moment. Oh, uh, does anyone I have any in. access to bats? Bats? Like a wooden bat? No, like the animal of bat. They don't rely on the bats don't rely on their eyes to see in the dark. Haven't you used a bat before as an as a familiar Helen? Yes. I changed snow into a bat. I can't do it now. Unless DM is allowing me to. Uh it would take you an hour for you to do it. That you can explain to the group it would take an hour for the ritual yeah. for you to do this. It would take me an... Uh, yeah, Helen would explain to the group then. In order for me to change snow into a bat so we can find our way around, it would take me a full hour to do it. But that is sadly time, time we do not have. Exactly. I'm going to look at my spells. See, I don't think I've... Well, I mean, that is still a good question though, that was brought up and should perk someone else's ears up to maybe be able to help. Probably looking at me, I'm assuming, because I can summon creatures. You can summon creatures and you can become one. I, you can lead us through this place. No, that's it. This is what was. See, here's the problem. To tell you size, not that there's like. I don't think there's actually anything there. And I already said to Tanya walks through the door. Okay, so Titania's going on in. <laughs> just, everybody missed that earlier when I said Titania goes in. Um, no, we just, just yeah. <laughs> yep, obviously everyone else missed that as they were trying to figure out how to get through there without being able to see. More map completing. <clears throat> so... Titania, mm -hmm. make me a perception check 
no advantage because darkness. Yeah, uh, yeah, but luckily it's straight roll because you usually have advantage all the time. So nineteen. Lucky you. Through your other senses, as you cannot see in here, you cannot. You probably can't even see the tip of your nose right now. Obviously, being the impulsive person that Titania is, luckily you start feeling with your feet that there's a toweling system that you start feeling, and you feel like some is not as secure as others. But luckily for you, with your perception and how lightly you can touch stuff, you start to try to walk and realize that, wait a minute, you, you now realize that others were talking about bats <laughs> behind you. You only could get maybe 20 feet like this while they were talking. Okay, so... <laughs> How many people are in our party, including Lavender? That's what, six? Yeah, be six total with Lavender. I don't know. I th the only thing I can think of is that we have swarm of bats. I don't think we have individual bats. Um, could I use... Um, oh, what's the spell? Mm. Well, just to, let me just say something right now, because I forgot to mention this. As you have walked in, Lemner mm -hmm. would probably be saying, there's something big in there, but floor doesn't feel right in there. I mean, everyone else is just hearing how a bullet would sound. Um, so at Labner's comments, then I would probably back up and go back out the door. Yeah, you see Titania coming back out of there, everyone. It is dark in there. <laughs> um, so... Fun fact, Lavender says there's something big in there. Other fun fact, the floor is not fully... The floor is not stable, let's put it that way. That's not going to be a fun way to go. I'm making a roll for let's see how intelligent Lavender will be at the moment quit crit 20 for her so you're all thinking Lavender starts like by the door, starts like feeling, putting her her feet up on the wall and such. Wait, do what? She's putting her feet up on the wall, right on the like inside of the doorway. Now you are, uh, there's like maybe a foot or so, so she's like right in there and she's putting her feet up on the wall. She's just kind of getting by y'all just to do this. Obviously you're all trying to think of how to do this. Her front feet? Can I inspect mm -hmm. the wall? Oh, of course you can inspect the wall. I mean. Um, what is a Cerberus? Is it a fiend? 
Uh, a lot of them can be fiends. Some of them could be other things. This is my world. It is a type of... Uh, homebrew creature of mine in this one. In this room, actually. So... <laughs> It could be yeah. anything. <laughs> so I'm assuming now uh, the other two heard a growl. Has anyone uh, explicitly said that this was a uh, <coughs> in my hearing? I'm trying to remember. We said that it was a big popper and Titania said it was a fluffy. All right. Um, so. Uh, actually, Grom has stated that it was a three head because, as I told him, it wasn't just a one growl. It was like three. All right. I would have said okay. it was a big three headed pupper. So I can so I can detect celestial fiends are undead. We know that it's not likely to be celestial, and I was expecting a um, my brother's uh, minions. But if it's uh, if it's that, it's not undead. So um, I'm gonna cast divine sense to detect the presence of a fiend. Okay. So when you do okay. this, mm -hmm. you're not picking up any fiend in the area. Damn it. Do uh, what? The, what would I need to do in order to check the wall? You can do an investigation check, I guess. Uh, that would work, I mean. That's two in the meantime, rolls. I tell the party, I don't detect anything in there. Well, uh, I don't detect a fiend. I got ten. It's a wall. That's all it is. It's just a straight, regular wall. Lavender, what are you point? What are you, what are you doing? What are, you, are you trying to point out something? What's going on? Okay, so you're talking to Lavner and Bolet, I hope. Uh, I'm just talking to her, so yeah. Okay, Lavner will reply, I can sense better <laughs> touching the wall. Wall solid. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> hey, just because I read a book on bullets does not mean I know much about bullets. That is a very big book. <laughs> About as big as those books I was trying to take from the library. Yeah, probably so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was written by a Goliath, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, Lavender's just saying that she's sensing better by touching wall as the wall solid. So, do you sense? What do you sense? Oh. Calmer, feel safer. Wish I could walk on it. Hint, hint. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> So, I'm going to just note to the group then, because I don't know how else to try and put this. Uh, Lavender feels more comfortable going on the walls than the floor. That's about all I got. Can, can you, she sense anything inside the room? Uh, she already said there was something big in the room. She sent something big in the room. Though no, the floor no. feels still feels unstable. Was there anything else? That was all that was told to to Tanya. Well, how long have uh, we been here? Is the um, spider walk spell still in effect? That spell has already worn off the ground by this point. All right. But that doesn't mean I can't cast it again. Um, 
I just had an idea come to mind. Um, I'm just gonna my my character's gonna say this out. Loud. Um, so uh, I could try talking to it. If it is a Cerberus, it is still an animal. So I, my ring should still be able to talk to it. Well, why don't you say hello? I mean, what do you guys think? Nothing like yelling to the abyss and having the abyss talk back, but you know, hey. So long as you don't have a conversation with it. Or try to hug it. I go, I yell into the room. Hello? Is anybody in there? In what language? Uh, that would either be animal auto language. to the animal, it would either be auto to the animal or common. <sighs> he is using the ring, so it could auto do the language, but. As this is a spell that speaks to beasts only. <laughs> well, at least that's a lucky roll. Uh, you know, animals. You gain Not the ability to comprehend and verbally communicate with beasts for the duration. It's hey, not he, all if, animals. It's not all animals, as some animals are not. Okay, to put it this way, the way I do this is there's monstrous bees, huge bees and such, where the bullet falls under. Then you have, like, fiend animals. And Cerebus is, like, a prime example of one that I'm going to state that normally it's a fiend. You cannot animal communicate with them like that. Because they're not truthfully a beast. Luckily for you, there's no response. Mm. And I wrote that with advantage because you were yelling. And yet, it, as such, uh, though with your passive perception, Titania... Sounds like something's sleeping in there at the moment. I go ahead and speak a little bit softer. Okay, my suggestion. <laughs> Whatever we do, we do it quietly. <laughs> I could swear it sounds like it's sleeping. And in a deep sleep. <laughs> All right. Sounds good to me. A three-headed dog in a puzzle room. Can you cast Pass Without Trace? I mean, I can, but can Spider Walk get all of us up off the wall? As a DM, yes, that can happen. You can all walk along the wall. She is able to do it, even though it probably would burn the rest of her spells. But there is a way that she, she could, I think. Uh... 
Yeah, she could be able to do it. She just would have to probably convert a couple of her spell slots to sorcery points to help with this. And I can recommend what? the best way. Spider climb. You casting spider climb on everyone to walk along the wall. I was thinking I turn into my full Wolfgarian form and have Amethyst ride me as we walk. And I can turn into a spider, a giant spider, actually, I think. Let me check the CR rating. No. I think it's still only a medium creature. It's the only thing I can think of that can climb up walls. Gecko. Would, I would be walking on the ground, though, so. Uh, the ground is unstable. You're likely to fall through or wake up the creature. That's why we're all looking at walls. Walking along the walls. Right. So, I can understand... Okay, so... I'm having to think on something about what Helen was suggesting. If we need to move quietly, Amethyst is wearing armor, same with Grom, but at least if I could keep one of them quiet enough, then that might be beneficial to us. I can also do pass without trace. No problem piggybacking. Um, uh, spider monkey. I don't think they can climb on a straight wall like that, Sid. I mean, I love giant how spider. you're thinking, but. The <laughs> giant spider is a large beast, which means I could carry a medium sized beast. Which What's its CR? Could... It's a CR1 and a spider climb. There's lots of lizards and reptiles that can climb walls. I yeah, know. I know. I can do a giant shark if you guys want, but I don't <laughs> think it's going to be useful. <coughs> <coughs> and the other one that comes to mind is that, but even that's not big enough. Well, is it a sort of thing where... Um, or Helen would have to convert slots into points per person, or is it to make it an AOE? Because if it's an AOE, then we might as well all get spider walk and I'll take okay. it. Okay. It's a per person. Okay. And Here's a way, person. though, it can work out to becoming two people for one spell. She can twin it and hit two targets. So, yeah, she would have to cast it three times. And as I say, converting sorcery points, yeah, she can take from other spell slots on this. And being that way, she can pull from her first level spells to do this. Or go third or fourth level, however, because she did regain one of her fourth levels with some of her sorcery points. She can reconvert. Just that back to where she has no fourth level, but she gets. She's going to have six sorcery points at that point, which is going to be more than enough. I mean, it's not like it's that hard to come up with it, is all I'm saying. The problem is, it only lasts an hour. So each hour, I would have to redo the spell. Or if we're get in there over the an hour. Yeah. We can also, if you want, try a test run of me turning into a giant spider and. Going with Grom. That way, only two of us have to rescue ourselves instead of all of us wasting spells in order to try and fight it or try and get past it just in case we have to end up fighting it anyway. Why split up the group? Mate. I mean, we still leave people here at the end because you can hear if something happens. Sometimes, okay, as a DM, let me bring this up. This is not technically splitting the group up as in splitting a group up. This is 
A couple of people are going out to scout ahead of the main group to let them know if this is going to work out fine or, oh, this isn't going to work. we got to come up with something else type thing. These things can happen. You don't need to stay hardcore together all the time for a reason. I know the saying is never split the group up. But there are points where you got to have a couple of people go ahead. I mean, this is like anything in real life. I mean, military, they do send scouts out. I mean, so... Yeah, I'm, and what I'm thinking is if I cast yeah. pass out Trace on me and Grom, or on me, whatever, and then ha Grom ride me while I turn into a giant spider, it allows me to climb on the wall, get a... Get, towards the roof and still try and sneak past the sleeping beast. Because something tells me we don't want to fight it. You're actually going to try to get to the roof with Gromp on your back? As That's a giant India. spider. As, As a giant, giant spider. spider. It's a large sized creature so I should be able to hold a medium sized creature on me, right? Okay, if he's on your back, when you get to a roof, what usually would happen? Please think. <laughs> I'm going to be holding on. Rope. <coughs> I mean, it, it'd be a ma I know, I'm using rope a lot, but it's you can make a makeshift harness. I mean, there's two... Uh, there's two okay, so you're going to make a harness out of rope to hold Grom on your back because... Grom would be having to make strength checks as you're going across this roof to see if he can hold on. I mean, you, it's not a problem. You see where I'm coming with on this. But, I mean... Uh, okay, question. Yes. Um, are, no, <coughs> when we entered this place, this was an open roof. It was a maze, and so um, once... Okay, now where wall. you're at at the moment in this area, there has been a ceiling. Now, after okay. you got out of, when you entered this labyrinth of doors and all, there is a ceiling now. Okay. I mean, we we got two choices. Okay, well, we got a couple choices, but we can try have Grom ride me. We can try and just have me go by myself and see what happens there. Or we can just have Helen blast something straight through and see if that does enough damage to the servers to get it to, you know, hopefully get weakened. But I'd rather try and not fight the giant puppy. Well, the uh, there's the other option of Helen giving up a few spell spot slots so that and we can just all use spider walk. I leave that up to you guys, because if we do that, our sorcerer will be needing a rest not long after we get to the other side. You do forget. I have cantrips that I can still use that are powerful enough, too. <sighs> And we're only talking a certain level. I mean, this is just her second level. I mean, as I say, she could give up all her fourth level spell slots as they're not used as often. Other than the I mean, one for the mage armor, which she's already cast on herself. It lasts for eight hours. She could give up the rest just to do this. Yeah, I can easily give up my first level spell slots. I don't want to touch my third or fourth level spell slots, but I can do the first and second level perfectly fine. All right. Because I can still make my uh, ice light spells too. I can still cast those afterwards. So I'm not completely useless. If that's the way you want to go, that's up to you. I'm just wondering 
But still, Grom, you want to weigh in on this? As this is a discussion between the group. I'm not partial for anything. I mean, if they hella wants to do it, then let's try it. I mean, I just want to see trial and error kind of things. That's what I do with strategy games. I just kind of go with something and see what happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, we can. We can go with that. Okay. Now, the thing is, Titan, you can do a wild shape into an animal to help. Uh, you'll bet on sorcery points and spell slot, basically. Even though spell slot, probably not as much as she's still got to cast on five total instead of six. But it saves her a sorcery point at least to do it. But. If she wishes to do it this way, Titania could still turn into whatever animal she wants to crawl along the wall with. And there's more than just spiders. There's lizards and all that too. But I'll leave that up to Titania. And I'll do this math quick for you, uh, Helen. Okay. So, basically, you would cast it three times still. You know, the thing is, two of these would automatically go into a spell slot as you did use a second level already. Yep. So, that would leave... You would only need to use... Okay, your first levels, you're done. But you would have enough sorcery points that looking at this all right you would be left after all this one sorcery point okay but with that you have no first levels or second levels but you still have all your third and a fourth level that's perfectly fine with me all right so everyone now has spider walk and is able to walk up on the wall. <coughs> um, and to, depending on what Titania's using. Yeah, I'm going to be wild shaping probably into a spider either way, but. Okay. That's what I was. Okay. So you are a spider. So I'm sure you would know the stats. Um, Helen would be losing up her corset to go into full full with Gary and form and crouch down low enough for Amethyst to hop onto her back. Well, uh, I mean, you don't have... Uh, now, if you're doing that, uh, let's hold up here. You actually might be saving yourself a spell slot. That's... <laughs> yeah, because I figured that Amethyst... If we need to move quietly, Amethyst can ride on my back. And Amethyst Just said, don't "Drop me! Yeah. I'm not going to drop you." Okay, all right. Well, that leaves you a spell yeah. slot. That will leave you. Actually, it will leave you two. Okay, here's what it can do: it can leave you a second level spell slot, or two first levels. Mm. Let's go with a uh, second level. Okay. That's fine. But again, Helen's crouching low down for. Okay, so yeah. Helen has gone into Wolfgarian form, has, uh,. Amethyst piggybacking on the back of the Wolfgarian. After having the spell cast on Lavender, Lavender's like almost happy that it can, but yet realizes, oh, there's still danger, and just kind of starts creeping along the wall. Not even going to wait on any of you. It's like, I want to get through this fast. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, 
Um, I'm going to pat, cast Pass Without Trace, and then... Um, go for Falling Lavender. All right. Well, you would have done that and then at Wild Shape to do that. Okay. Now, I'm going to give the group an option here. As in, do you wish to take 10 on the roll with the pluses of your dex bonuses, which would be a 10 from Titania's Pass Without Trace plus your extra bonus? Or do you all want to roll? You do it now? Okay, here's the thing. I'll let you all take 10 on your dice roll. Basically, an average roll. Everyone. With the bonuses of Pass Without Trace plus your stealth bonuses. Or you can all roll. As you normally would. I'm fine with rolling, but I'm going to leave it to a consensus. <laughs> Plus 10. <laughs> I well, might this. Does he have a disadvantage with me on her back? Uh, you would still have a disadvantage either way because you're wearing armor. Here's the thing. If you all decide just to take 10 and all, it might be better off. I think Fuzzy knows what I'm getting at I'll here. Take 10. <laughs> I'm taking the 10. <coughs> because I have no stealth, so it's basically. I would have a disadvantage. Yeah! I'm trying to move this along because of how long this took. And really, I mean, the plan is, is not to engage what this Cerebus is. And you're. So, okay, we're going to go ahead. So, you go along this wall. About 15 minutes, you hit like a corner. So, you're doing like this to go around. You, you know how you go around a corner. You go on around. Uh, yeah, you'll hit another wall and such. Now, you're walking to where you'll know where there's a door. Yeah, logically. Yeah. So you hit another wall and you go in. Uh, I'm going to take it. Lavender and Titania's like out in the front of y'all. Am I correct in this assumption? Yeah, because Lavender is able to see in the dark, so I'm following her. Okay. So Lavender stops as like something woody right here. And I respond, that's probably what we're looking for. So I sneak past her and use my spider arms to try and open the door. <sighs> yeah, and this has been about, let's say, about 40 minutes of walking. This is a huge room, but thing is... Yeah. As you try to open a door, it's kind of hard for a spider leg. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, it is. Poke, poke, poke. Yeah, so you definitely know there's a door. You get down, you're able to see here at this point. It's like, okay. You finally get it open. You finally get it open. And there's light coming out of a hallway. Or whatever is out there. I go out the door with Lavender behind me. Alright, are you going to get on the floor or are you going to stay on the wall? I'm just asking. I mean, I, it really doesn't matter. I, I imagine I'm probably on the floor, to be honest. Alright. Well, you go out there. This hallway's lit up. Now, it's still got a ceiling, even though it's a very, very high ceiling. Let's say about 50 foot up in the air. But you're definitely in a whole different place here. Alright guys, um, we have, we have a hallway. So I take it everyone else is going to go through the door, being on the floor. 
doing the dinosaur. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> Y'all are on the floor now, correct? Getting through the doorway, out of love. Nice room that could have killed you. Okay, we are out of the server's chamber. <sighs> Okay, so as I say, Aquarius Bastille doesn't even need a torch now. Yay! It's nicely lit and all. <laughs> but as I say, I mean, it's the ceiling's about 50 foot in the air. Oh, uh, this hallway, you could have three mounts going side by side, actually. Tell you about how wide this place is. This hallway. I mean, and this is a hallway. Either way, it looks like it could go on for a while. I suppose it's been long enough that the scent is probably not there anymore, isn't it? And I'm currently a spider, so I don't have a nose. Yeah, you're a spider at the moment. So you can't try it. I mean, you would have to probably go back into an elvish form or an animal form that would have a nose that you could try pick up a scent, but... I can try. You never actually ever picked up the scent, so I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if a bloodhound never gets a scent, how can it get on the scent? I mean, God. you could make the argument that it would smell naturally different than the rest of the room, so therefore a direction is given, but you wouldn't know that it is explicitly who we're looking for. Because we have no idea if anybody else has been down these hallways. No, no, that's true. I mean, everyone can make a perception <laughs> check. I mean, now, Titania <laughs> makes a very valid point. <laughs> <laughs> that's the reason why I wanted to try. Okay. All right. Everyone can make a perception check. I'm not going to... I'm going to stick as a spider, so... Actually, no. I'm going to go back to my normal form, because, to be honest... Uh, this is, uh, 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 13! Natural 20. Hi! <gasps> that never happens. On a perception roll? I got a 21. <coughs> my elvish form. This is what's happened. Since Grom became a paladin, Amethyst is actually able to see things better now. <laughs> <laughs> or... or or dragon, it might be because she's riding on Helen's back. Helen's kind of taller than normal. <laughs> so oh, so so Amethyst is still riding piggyback on uh, Helen's back. I'm still riding piggyback on Hungarian. <laughs> I mean, if we want it, if we need Why to start not? running. Okay, well, here's my thought: if we need to start running to catch up. Are we going I, I to run at a this pace is for Amethyst to keep up, or have Amethyst ride on Helen? In that is a possibility, because uh, full wolf Gary and Vorm, you can run on all fours and actually become faster than anyone in the group, unless Tatani goes into an animal that can go faster. Well, that's how Helen carried Amethyst before she was crawling on all fours. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still on all fours. No, you were on all fours. I thought I was just riding okay. Something. Okay. Okay. No. So yeah, you're actually kind of riding a Wolfgarian <laughs> right you're now. Riding you're riding a Wolfgarian. I have a mount. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard to say, do not pull my hair or ears. For the love of God. <laughs> <laughs> that would probably not be the wisest idea. Okay, so my only thought was uh, was like otherwise I'd be I'd be dangling off of a roof because uh because the spider walk spell wouldn't be on me. So I'd be having to like have my arms wrapped around her neck with all my might having to do strength checks. That was why I was figuring I thought you were kind of holding me by the legs. 
a la uh, piggyback we ride. We weren't walking on the roof. We were walking on the wall. We were the wall. I uh, actually was not. I mean, you could actually have shifted to where you were on her side as she was doing this. Make it where you don't have to make the saves. <laughs> yeah, you're just like saying like a where a toddler would sit naturally. If you held a toddler before, just sitting there as I walk, you're just being like, okay, yep, this is a <laughs> this is new and interesting. So with that. So basically, only, well, but still doesn't have proficiency, does he? In who, what, when, where? You don't have proficiency in perception. No, that's performance. <laughs> okay. <coughs> With that, to Tanya, as you revert back. There are different oh. smells for you. As that's what you're trying to focus on. You're trying to see if you can get on the scent that you had first been on. Mm-hmm. And as it's still in your mind. Yeah, they came this way. You do pick up the smell. Uh going in either direction. It seems like they might have gone back and forth, so it would be farther down the hallway that you would have to actually go in both directions to finally figure out which way they went though. I think they were waiting for us to get through based on how badly it smells like somebody was pacing. Now, Either for way, I'm not going to be able to figure out anything until I get farther down the hall. But Amethyst. Okay. As Titania's focusing on that, you coming into this light, it's like it's not affecting you. You're, you start really noticing things like... And something that Jasper maybe has done in the past... You notice some faint scratching done by Dwarven. This is like something a Stone Mountain Dwarf would do when they're looking at new paths as to which way maybe to go that they would do markings on the wall. And Uh after looking at the markings on both sides of the door, that's like a point of significance here that would be like okay we came from here this is our point of interest you see going to the right was like the heavy set markup which means that this was way to go even though it's lightly done and it it took a sharp eye to spot this I see my brother's handwriting when we were children, he, we used to do this to memorize our pathways at home. We should go this way. That sounds okay. good to me. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, everyone is going that way, and we'll take another break right here. And as we're going to break, I just wanted to bring up, and I'm bringing this to attention of all my viewers as well, is I did talk about this a little bit earlier at announcements. I meant to spend a bit more time. I have been invited to the closed beta merch store system with Stream Elements. As such, I need to upload some sort of image, and while we're on break, I would love some suggestions from everyone in chat as to what you would love to see, if it's a new image or a current image. It would kind of help me, I think, because that kind of (laughs) really kind of was a surprise I wasn't expecting today. But with that, we'll be right back, everyone.
You're the one who hasn't said anything is me, but I don't typically leave on our break. Okay, well, I'm going back a lot. <laughs> All right, we're back, everyone. So, Ari gains a, a great suggestion from saying about a piece of artwork. But the group is now heading down this hallway, obviously following the markings that Amethyst spotted. Now, after a while, Titania, you would still be getting that smell, so it's definitely the right way. And as you're moving on, you finally come to where there's two doors, one on each side of a hallway. And it, a lot, hallway ends. There's two doorways. Now, one thing it, it, all potatoes. Now, one thing I will start stating is you all are feeling quite a bit tired by this time. As well. So, just to give you some info on that. Like a good day's probably has been passed now since this whole adventure began. <laughs> okay. Do we have to roll for anything? Uh, there's nothing to roll for at the moment. I'm just letting you know how you all might be feeling. I mean, you're not having a stop to make a rest, per se, or anything like that. I know you're thinking time is of essence, and just to let you know that if you keep pushing yourselves, you might have to start making exhaustion rolls. This is where Bastille yawns. He's like, sleep time. You gotta find somewhere to sleep. <laughs> Oh, we're never going to catch up to them. We'll find them later. Trouble attracts Jermon, and your brother's going to be part of it. If we're exhausted, they will be exhausted as well. Good point by Helen. So it might be best if we rest. Well, you're the one carrying me. <laughs> About this well, time, Helen well, probably has well, asked well, you. Well, just let me hmm? finish on this. About about by this time, Helen probably has asked you to get off as she was reverting back into Wolf Carrion. Has there actually been that time though? That time frame? Yeah, with how long you've walked down this hallway, it would have been about four hours. Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm stating y'all are definitely feeling tired. I mean, yeah, you definitely walked for like quite a... You walked a few hours. Then, yeah, Helen would probably be like sitting on her knees and just being like, Ugh. Just head slightly bad like, I'm... Yeah. <laughs> All right. So y'all want to take a long rest? Is here at these two doors. Maybe think about your next action. Yeah, let's go ahead. And yeah. Anyone else has? Let's rest up. Okay, so y'all are going to take a long rest. Uh, who wants to take watches? And basically, it's still a bright hallway, so it's not going to be the easiest long rest for some of you. Though, but still is able to watch at any point in this one and not have disadvantages. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a first watch with Bastille. Um, 
since I haven't, I'm not the one who's been walking. Well, <laughs> I've, I've had a bit of a break. <coughs> okay. Um, we can have RP talks. Um, Yay. I will take third. All right. You kind of just see Helen go up in a corner and just curl up and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and she has reverted back into her yeah. normal but form doing this. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Just crawling on all floors, going over to a corner and just growing up and sleep. Saying, nope, I'm done. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so, Titania, I take is going to do second and third watch. Um, yeah. I'll take uh, second and third. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, if anyone wants to make a knowledge check about this, uh, it would be an arcana, possibly religion as well. Just to, if you wish to think about the circumstances and such. What, the labyrinth? Where you're at right now. What it could possibly be. Maybe you've read something about this type thing. I mean, that is up to you, even though I don't think Hel Helen is. She's just going sleeping. Proficiency. <coughs> yeah, I, I kind of just said, frick it. Oh. I don't care what you guys are doing. Damn it, I typed my command in the wrong room. <laughs> Did you do it in the wrong room? Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. My arcana check is a no bueno. It's clean, Lola. I mean, if you. <laughs> if we want to humor everyone and Sleepy Helen does an arcana check, we can. <laughs> Roll a disadvantage. Uh, I got 12. Let's truly see how tired Helen is. Arcana! <laughs> Alright, well, Helen, you probably have thought more about this in your sleep than you can give some info in the morning. <laughs> yeah, Helen's gonna sleep on it. Yeah, I'm sleeping on it. Helen looks around, figures it out, and goes, eh, fuck it. <laughs> Sleep's more important right now. <laughs> yeah. But, as I say... Uh, but still, for you, you feel like this is definitely important. As this is the, you feel like this is the hall of secrets from what you've read in Arcana books, and that this hall only had two ends to it, and there's always. A couple of doors and one of the doors would lead to a specialized library of unknown proportions nothing like you were already in this is like one that can hold some of the greatest secrets ever and so I kind of laugh and talk to myself and say it out loud so somebody's gonna hear it and they'll probably comment on it and i'm like hmm it's probably the library of secrets couple exits couple of doors I have a untold library filled with amazing secrets like never before oh german we're on to you boy but still, you, all you have to do is say book. Room full of books. You don't have to try and make it sound more extravagant. <laughs> but, but to Tanya, <coughs> untold books. <laughs> <laughs> books your wood elf eyes have never seen before. TM. Uh, no, I think, uh, what's his name? Lovecraft already did the guys I've never seen before. Oh, shoot, <laughs> that didn't work well for him. 
Except for those colors in his instance. Colors yep. in your eyes have been so far. <clears throat> Ow! Oh, Dragonfire, that hurts, that hurts. Um... I mean, are we going to look for the library, or are we going to yell that again? Mm, we're sleeping, you do the watches, and then we'll look for the library tomorrow. Okay. So with that, so with that first watch uh, needs to roll their perception checks. All right, that's not me. Nope, that's Amethyst and Beacon. Or Bastille, sorry. All right, well. Uh... Quiet. I mean, this isn't like outdoors. I mean, this is other than maybe some of just some, like sleep noises from your friends. The light snoring Helen's doing right now. <laughs> yeah, sure. Light snoring. Light snoring. No, it's very light snoring. <laughs> she only light snores when she's purely exhausted. <laughs> Oh, I don't snore, so GG. <laughs> so with that, of course. Yeah, that's Amethyst. about it. But uh, well, yeah, RP time though. Let's see, because I mean, know. hold on, there's still a little bit oh, more to say here. As Amethyst probably would be up walking around, probably looking at both doors, seeing if maybe. As she already picked up that her brother was definitely doing some marking and such. It's not her brother's markings this time. It's actually something else. She doesn't recognize it per se because it's in Draconic actually. Hmm. To tell you're asleep. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what she definitely spotted. Still, come here, take a look at this. Oh, looky, I can use my expertise. Mm. Is this why you read Jermon? I mean, didn't you say something about your brother? I mean, I guess it would make sense. He's no, a dragon, isn't... after all. Yeah, this isn't... These aren't... Well, he can... Beacon can read... Well, Bastille could read, uh, could read runes, so I don't have to tell him it's not Dwarvish. And it would be just like, no, nah, no, it's draconic. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, you would Those walk up and notice when she points it no out, points. it is definitely draconic for you, which is easily enough to read. And basically, it was like a passage written. Just though. Just long sentence of uh, Bastille and Amy. As your party are following us, we did take this door. Though you might not believe us, but I'm after something. Please leave us be. And it's signed Jermon. Uh... You know, Jermon, if you wanted me to leave it alone, maybe we should, like, talk or something like, you know, normally we do, but, uh, I mean, if you're still angry about me, about that grimoire or whatever, or however you felt, eh, I mean, we just need to talk about it, so... Mm. Oh, sorry, sorry, I was kind of talking to myself, Amethyst. Uh, Jermon neatly signed and didn't chicken scratch basically saying he's after something with your brother and to leave leave them alone so we're not doing that <laughs> that's the most foolish nonsense i've ever heard well he might as well have written in a gigantic sign saying we went this way please chase us well come <coughs> on for you he's a He's a special one, but I mean, he's my best friend, so I gotta, I gotta help him, even if he doesn't want it in some way, at least to show him the good side. <laughs> uh, 
because he's not doing good things right now. How did you become friends? Well, we were children, and uh, we always liked trying to be better than one another's uh, uh, child rivalry. Oh, Him say always no more. Yeah. <coughs> but I mean, I'd always be nice enough to him because uh, he would have some parts of his body that he liked to be massaged. So I'd like to help him with that. <coughs> but, uh... <coughs> no, no, really, say no more. <laughs> No, I was actually having a cough there. I mean... <laughs> uh, I that absolutely horrible like you're trying to cut me off. I wasn't trying to... <laughs> anything. It's... I was saying he kind of... <laughs> no, <laughs> I was having... Walking on yeah. his feet. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Just go with that. This is say no more. <laughs> so. When you start talking about random body parts, I'm like, yeah, okay, I get the, I get the gist. I mean, if you guys want, I don't give a crap. Let's see. But it's not quite the same as my uh, as my experience. My brother and I are both the youngest. We have a lot of siblings. He's a few years older than I am, but I know what you mean about rivalry from a young age. Well, tell me, his uh, affinity with the dark, how did that start, or do you even know anything about it? Uh, now I have to make stuff up. Go for it. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> no, I'm not sorry. <laughs> Say no more, but still, you're ignorant and we don't care. <laughs> Let's see. No, it wasn't that. It's that uh, when you start talking about massaging people's body parts, it just made somebody very uncomfortable. I wasn't uncomfortable. I, I mean, I'll be honest here. I was not uncomfortable. I was just no, having no, a bad okay. cock. Amethyst was uncomfortable, you, you know. I'm, yeah. I'm, I got no problem saying that, you know. It, it had nothing to do with that. So we can retcon it. Nah, you're fine. Let's see. Okay. And, I mean, Amethyst, if you need some help, yeah, he started dabbling in the dark arts and such. Because he had gone to the... Ma There's a possibility Bastille might have run into... Jasper at some point, because he did go to the Mage's Guild. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so um, at this point, I'll just I'll just say, well, he had... Well, you know, he was fine until he... Didn't, it <clears throat> he was fine until he started attending the Mage's Guild. After that... We stopped hearing from him... We started hearing from him less and less often... Let me think for a second, Amethyst, since I was a student there, as much as I don't like saying it anymore. Uh, what role, Dragon? History. History. Okay, so seven with proficiency. Boop. Twenty-five. Uh, actually, uh, you, thinking back, uh, you definitely have seen, uh, Probably a couple of times right before leaving the Mages Guild with a certain grimoire book, you know, that you took and fled to the north uh, of a dwarf with uh, Jamon and uh, a couple of times Pepper. So, I didn't know Jasper. Um... Jermon and I, we mainly would talk with Pepper. Um, I don't know if that rings a bell or not, but uh, it was that assassin that tried to kill Grom. Um, but uh, he would hang out with Jasper at times. I just never was friendly with him. Sorry. So, I mean, like, he was more of an associate. Maybe I'd say hi to him in the hallway, but that's all. But 
Yeah, now I think about it, I do know your brother as an associate, nothing more. Hmm. Kind of makes me feel stupid that I didn't hang out with those two more. Maybe I could have caught on to something. I'm sure we're both wondering where we could have where we'd gone wrong. Yeah. Well, it feels good talking about this and getting it off my chest at least. All right. Um Okay. Any I'm, other RP? Or are you kind of? I'm done. out. Okay. So you two finish the watch and wake up. Uh, Titania, obviously Helen being exhausted as she was. Uh, I guess Titania is taking the watch by herself here. Maybe she wakes Lavender up to help her watch. Would she? Um, no. I'd let her rest. Okay, so to time make me your perception roll, of course, with advantage, as you do have advantages. Bugger! Alright. Sorry, I'm currently fighting the first dragon of Skyrim, and it keeps roasting me alive. Uh... <laughs> 24. Oh, two eighteens. <laughs> okay. So they woke you up and went to bed. Obviously, they didn't tell you about the writing there. But you found the same, you know, faintly scratched uh, Draconic, which uh, you definitely can read Draconic if I'm correct. Mm -hmm. uh, did you even add all your languages to... Not yet. You know you can add them all to your Yeah, list. I got them under my notes. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. You read the same letter. The same letter. And you kind of look over wondering, but still, and Amethyst has seen this yet. Obviously, something to definitely let them know when you get them for up in the morning. Or what you would figure be morning. Can I open the other door? And there's two doors, right? Yeah, there's two doors. I mean, you can go to the other one and open it if you want to. I mean, if you really want to. Can I do an inspection on the door first? Sure. Investigate it. Okay, I'm not going to open the door then. If I knew it wasn't trapped, I'd open it, but since I actually have no clue. Yeah, I mean, as far as you know, it might not be trapped, but you don't know at all, so. Yeah, it might just explode. <laughs> and wake no. up everyone, and they're all looking at you like, maybe we shouldn't have you watch anymore, too, for all you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I go ahead and just... Let sleeping dogs lie and let it sit at least until the next watch. Alright. So with that, you wake Grom to help you watch for the last watch. Uh, you're welcome to share what you already found on that letter. Yeah. Translate can it. Also, can I also wake up um, Lavender? Yeah, I mean, Lavender's had eight hours of sleep. She might be stirring you a bit. I mean, I, this isn't the best sleeping conditions. Because you have bright light in there. I mean, it's it's like daytime lighting. Alright. Well, and she hasn't taken any damage anyway, so she really didn't need eight hours. So, just the exhaustion part. Um, so, I go ahead and get Grandma up. 
letting them know, hey, you know, it's time for time for your part of the watch as well. Nothing so far. Only thing so far that sticks out is this this writing here, which is written in Draconic, which obviously was meant for Steel, which I would guarantee he probably saw. But nobody told me about. So with that, of course... Oh, because it was a private message. Well, I mean, Titania could read it to you. You can see that it does involve the party about not chasing them. And it wasn't just to Bastille. It was also to Amy, which... A.K.A. Amethyst, as that's what... Doesn't Wait. Krom also know Draconic? Uh, no, no, no. No. I don't, no, not yet. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> So you would have to l real, just read him the letter. So I go ahead and read it to him, which states, you know, that, oh, I just came in here for one thing. Please leave me be. Bah. <laughs> um, and saying that they went this direction, to which I tell him immediately, I don't believe him in the slightest. I think he actually went the other direction. That's my personal opinion on that. What do you think? Well, I'm not entirely sure he could have gone the other way. We probably would have seen him if he did. If the message is this far down. Well, no, there's two, like, there's two there's doors, doors there, one on hallway. each side of this hallway. Yeah, so it's very, uh, very possible that he just straight went the other direction, the other door. And with that, go ahead and give me both of your perception. I mean, yeah, something maybe discuss in the morning when y'all, or morning when you wake up. <laughs> Um, that one. Sorry, I need to do perception check. My bad. Um, come on. Uh, not twenty. Yeah. Again, quiet. Oh, the reason why I wanted. Lavender, by the way, was to see if she could uh, sense anything using tremor sense through the doors. That's why I wanted to wake her. All right, so you wake up. Of course, she's like you little groggy. She's like, oh, give me a moment, you know. And she'll kind of like go to boat. I mean... Gingerly, not trying to wake anyone. Go to each door. I don't sense anything. Okay. I figured I'd give it a try. At least gives me a starting point. Okay. She just goes and just lays right back down and sl sleeps a little more. <laughs> That's fine. So, quiet watch. Of course, nothing that really happens. Uh, so basically, when you feel like it would be morning after a few hours pass, everyone's starting to wake up. Would I have been able to read one of my language books over the night? Um, I mean, you could have tried to read it a little bit, but 
go ahead and make me an intelligence roll. Uh, but I'm putting a high DC on this as of okay. other distractions that you could have had. All right. Um, let me double check which one I was reading at the moment. Um, I know those. So halfling, I think, is the one I was currently working on because I know giant. So halfling. Let's see how I did. Uh, intelligence, I think, is a D two or plus two. I mean, so roll D twenty. Roll to seventeen. Okay. Uh, what does it state on your halfling? I uh, got the lettering in a few words. Uh, okay. I would say you were able to get a few more words than you knew before, but you could pick up the words out of the conversation, but you technically still cannot speak the language and such. But, I mean, the words you can pick up, I mean... This is basically my, my general knowledge of Spanish. I can tell it's Spanish if I listen to it, but I couldn't couldn't speak it <laughs> yeah let's let's go along with that line of thinking yeah that's about what it is right now okay now like one or two words so uh i mean you made a good bit of progress and with that everyone's waking up uh you want to share what all as you're eating your rations what you found over the night. Yeah, I go ahead and when everybody gets up, when after Lowe's had her morning coffee, <laughs> I, I, I the one, um, I describe about the uh, marking on the wall and my opinion on it. I thought it was pretty obvious too. My God, are we agreeing on something? <laughs> I mean, especially if, <coughs> if you guys put it, the library was the um, if the library was the carrot and whatever it was trying to lure us away, then it seems a little obvious to me that this was probably done to try and throw us off again in my opinion unless unless he deliberately wrote it on that know. door to second guess that we probably wouldn't believe him and he knew we wouldn't believe him I'm I'm, I'm not in the mood to do but he could have done but this but the, this is what I mean the best time. you know that I know that you know that I know that you know that no. so best deal, you it? know him best so with uh, Jermon and uh, to Tanya, what you're saying just now, you would be thinking on the lines that you know that I know that you, and then try to flip your thinking. Stab so uh, he's the type of person to do that. Uh, and Bastille is correct in this assumption that yeah, he he would blankly give you the direction. <laughs> really? Yep. <sighs> All right. I believe you, Bastille. He knew him what? the best, so... I believe you. Now you know I'm going to throw a quirk into it. Amethyst knows that her brother would pull this sort of trick, too. <laughs> My brother's the kind of guy who would say something obvious knowing you'd go for the opposite door when he really went through that door. But was this written in the language your brother actually knows? In either case, both scenarios say to go through the marked door.
Grom opens up the marked door. Alright. Grom, you open up the marked door and... It's like more blinding light. It's almost blinding at times to y'all, but... You start noticing when your eyes adjust, Grom. You thought the library was going to be bad for Titania. No. This is worse? Yeah. And time's at about by 10. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> it's, a bigger, it's a bigger one? Is that what you're telling me? It's, it's a bigger... A, it's uh, a bigger... A bigger batch of books. <coughs> I immediately run in. <laughs> Are you, you? Do you tr almost not grom down in doing this? <laughs> no, I just slip under his arm as his arm's holding the door open. <laughs> okay. You're not trying to be stealthy about this either. You're just running on in. No, I'm just running straight in. Okay. Because she does that, I say this. I'm like, don't, uh, give me some space in this library. I want you to go after Titania. If I can run into them, maybe I can talk some sense at least into my best friend. This gets me in trouble. Well, whatever. Guess he wasn't much of a best friend, right? And I just keep walking. So, okay. You're all walk. Uh, Helen, you walking in? To where? The library. I had connection issues. Oh, okay. Just, uh, this is a library about ten times worse to deal with Titania in from the last one that you saw. <laughs> I immediately start looking for language books. Helen would walk in, but not straight too far. Okay. Drama, I take it you're on. Keeping a close eye on Titania. Okay. Keeping an eye on her. So basically, everyone has walked in, including. Lavner has walked in. Following Titania. Wondering what the hell Titania's doing. What are all these things? <laughs> Can I eat them? Yes, Lavender, you can eat all of these. Is Grom? I walked into here as well. Yeah, he would walk in. Okay. As you have walked in, and everyone has walked in, uh, passively, uh, as Helen is keeping an eye on Titania, uh, Grom, due to Titania just engrossing trying to find stuff. She wouldn't have noticed, but, uh, you hear, like, something close, and you both look, and there's no longer a door where you came in at. Of course not. <laughs> <coughs> not Is this like the last um, room, the last library room that we're in? Well, you got to find no way out of this room, but and this is, uh, let's put it this way. Uh, put this as a library on a one floor that is probably as big as a couple of football fields, just to give you an idea. No um, why. <laughs> Huh? Can I do a perception check to see what kind of books I see around me? 
Sure. Why don't everyone make a perception check? Uh, do I have advantage because it's just normal? Yeah. Okay. Perception. I rolled a 19. I got a 10. Okay. You Is have advantage. Two. <laughs> two. <laughs> it's only a two. No, I was laughing because my role is two. Not because my advantage is two. <laughs> you got 15, oh Helen. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, your role is just okay. straight up two, isn't it? That was just straight up. That was a natural two. <laughs> All right, so you see nothing, you hear nothing, you're just like, eh, wonder what bro's doing. I got knocked over by lavender, and I, I, all I perceive <laughs> is the floor. <laughs> yeah. Well, whoever's in here hears clank. Uh, all right. Well, okay. Anyway, for the two people, even though one's engrossing really, I should almost make them just have straight, but you know what, I, I'm being fair here. Uh, the two people that had 15 or higher, uh, you're hearing footfalls, and we're not talking normal person footfalls. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> now, uh, I, I mean, I, I was about to state that you could do like a, on these footfalls, as how they're hitting, you could do history check, history check. a nature check, survival. Uh, survival? Yeah, survival too. What was the other one you said? Nature? Oh. Nature on, and his. I'm doing a nature check. Proficiency in both nature and survival. I have proficiency in nature, so it makes a difference. I do too. Both yeah. in nature and survival. Whoops. Um, my bad. I put Luckily for the... me, uh, yeah, that, we had a, we have a bot come into the room that none of you get to hear in the stream because I keep that bot muted. <laughs> I immediately skipped it anyway. <coughs> I found out what it was. So you might have heard like three, three words, but anyway. Oh, wow. This is why the, the RP bot shouldn't be able to read the music channel and the music bot shouldn't be able to read the art, the RP bot channel. Anyway. Yeah. I think when it was brought in, it lost all the roles that it was supposed to roll, whatever. We'll get that fixed at some point, I'm sure. But whatever. Uh, with that, Helen, they're definitely familiar, but you're not remembering how. Yeah. Titania. Titania. Hello. Of all of the people here, obviously, you recognize these footfalls as like a, maybe a dragon, like one that carried you to see the dragons and all. And when you're looking at these books, just to give you an idea, these books are kind of big for you to even pick up because they're as tall as you, if not taller. Actually, they're taller than you. Let's just say, uh, Probably Grom size tall. So, Titania can easily get squashed. <laughs> um, and Amethyst can easily yeah, get squashed. Guys, there's a dragon approach. <coughs> 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 
And even though most dragons that we've come across are good, for some reason I feel that we're in possibly a dragon's horde. Helen, just because of your draconic heritage, this is automatically known. There's no bad dragon, per se, that would kill a living thing or anything, even if it trespassed in a place. Uh, Helen would turn to Titania. The dragons wouldn't har even harm a fly. It would bother them that much. They wouldn't harm us at all either. Okay, well, then either way, there's still a dragon coming. And, by uh, that, you see this, uh, a grayish scaled dragon turn the corner to look at uh, where Grom, Amethyst, Titania, and Helen is. Obviously, but still has turned and tried to walk in another direction, hopefully trying to find Jamon. <coughs> I'm also a little distracted because I know who did that, FYI. Anyways. I yell hello in Draconic. Dragon looks down at you, Titania, and in Draconic, hello, uh, why are you in the secret library? You are another group that I'm going to have to chase out, it looks like. Um, uh, how long ago did the other group come by? Because we may actually be looking for them. That we and also for I was looking for a way out as person. well. Uh, possibly a day ago, maybe longer, maybe shorter. I don't keep up with time. But, but you see her eyes, and obviously this is a lot older dragon here. It's going at you, Helen, when you spoke up. And I take it you were speaking in Draconic as well. Yes. See her kind of squinting her eyes at you. Helen of Pack. Oh, no. I see we have maybe more of a situation than I first thought. What do you mean? As you are all fabled heroes of legend, you being here is no coincidence. I mean, I saw books. I I came. I I ran in. So I don't know about that. But you know, I, you are wiser than I. <laughs> She just, she's almost shaking her head. Oh, it's a girl. No, sorry. 
No, it's not in character either. Don't try and say it. <laughs> and she looks back over to Helen, obviously. So I take it you two were chasing down another dragonborn and a dwarf? Yes, we were. Hmm. Well, the names I was given, I probably now have as false names. But uh, Thomas and Zonan said they were just wanting one piece of information about Uh, a type of magic to halt demon gates, which I uh, doesn't make sense, but I saw no harm in that, as that is actually information that would be good for any realm of people to have due to the demon invasion situation. Uh, Helen would frown a bit. Their names are Jermon and Jasper. They're working with the demons. Then why would they want a spell to be able to stop the gate? Probably so they can figure out how to try and counter curse it or counter uh, counter the counter spell. it. This cannot be countered as it is ancient magics. Uh, it's the only thing that can counter certain things. I'm sorry. I had to reconnect because of the whole freaking robot body. Yeah. yeah. Why would they and then everything cut out? Okay. For you, real quickly, it was like, why would they want this to stop it if they're working for the demons and it's like trying to counter it and she's like uh this cannot be countered this is one of these spells that can't be countered or rituals and such uh they might be trying to stop us from getting that spell then. I don't see how I can give that thing to you, though the list is long. But they could only take a copy. They can't take the original as it has to stay here. Is this connected to the other room that I went in a little while ago? No. Hmm. 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 Um. Hmm. Helen would look at the group that we have knowing best deals not with us apparently Jamon and Jasper took an ancient spell to stop the portal stop the demon portals correct that is correct that is correct <laughs> yes But that makes no sense to neither myself or the dragons why they would want that type of spell if they're working with the dragon with the demons. Amethyst, do you have any clue why your brother would like that spell? My brother and I have been long estranged since he went to the college of uh, what, what college was it? The Mages Guild. Since he joined the Mages Guild. 
It's a question I'd like to ask him very much myself. With this talking happening, uh, but still, you're able to hear the talking happening. You know a lot of it was in Draconic. You heard a lot of this conversation, so you could be coming back to the group if you wanted to. <sighs> sure, why not? After that little rhythm bot incident, I'm, I'm not in the mood. Let's see. Anybody got anything? Yeah, I'm, I'm just waiting for anyone else to say anything I'm here. I'm waiting for Econ to... I can't understand any of this, so... Yeah, well, I mean, it was... <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, she did kind of let you know that... About Jamon and Jasper taking a spell to stop demon portals, which... Wait a minute, these two are working with the demons, huh? <laughs> <laughs> sure, I can add some things since we had some awkward silence. Um, I just look at the dragon. I'd be like, I understand, and don't get me wrong. You guys are all powerful, but <sighs> he's a very sly individual. My best friend is. He could have twisted the truth here and there just a little bit. Just to get what he wants. I mean, he loves to benefit himself after all. So whatever he wants is to benefit himself. That's what we need to think about. So, Did Bastille say that in Draconic? He also speaks it. Um, Actually, I would speak it both Draconic and... Well, actually, no. <laughs> she would understand it in common, so I'd say it in common. So the dragon understands common? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh like yeah. Yeah, she was just speaking in Draconic because that was the first language spoken to her. <laughs> so. Well, uh, that makes sense if somebody thinks that they can pull one over on the demons and then seal them away when they've mm -hmm. done with them. Yeah, that's something it else. Sounds like your, about. your friend sounds like he's playing a very dangerous and foolish game. Yep. Hmm. I sigh. This makes me worried. Well, as I state, the spell is available for you all, but you're not destined to have it yet for your group. As she, it seems like she's going through her mind as to which group you could probably be. I mean, whether we're destined or not to have it, we're here, so... Destined to have it or destined to use it? You will use it, but you weren't supposed to have it yet. It was to be given at a certain point. Well, if I may add, um, my guardian, the... He's a red copper dragon. He said that my best friend has caused a lot of problems with his other versions of himself. And, I mean, with that knowledge, it's not really being a problem letting us have this. Because I don't want us, including you dragons, to suffer. You know, sometimes we just have to make some sacrifices. And us having this spell is just... You know us, we're legendary heroes, as you claim to be, even though I don't feel like it at times, but we're going to help you, so. Of course, I know you will all help, but I will have a few of the council come just wait a 
you. And she would turn and kind of walk off. Let's see which ones are coming. Can, can we at least get a book for some light reading? Light. <laughs> Did you not hear how big the books were again? Right. That, that you doesn't... totally want... Have you seen Hermione's definition of light reading? So... so... <laughs> again. Do you think that would really deter Titania? I mean, if she wants to try and pull a book out, she's going to have to make a strict check at disadvantage. <laughs> Only if there's a book that says Maps of the Multiverse. You know what? Yeah, there is. I want to see this happen. <laughs> Alright. Um, so... Do, do, do. <sighs> okay. So... Titania locates the book. And then I'm go she's going to cast a spell enhance ability <coughs> to strength. Which the target has advantage on strength checks and his or her carry his or her carrying capacity doubles. So it's a second level spell. No wait. First level yeah, it is a second level. I thought so. So a second level spell. And so strength check. I think my strength is a zero. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. So, just 2d20. That's all I get. I got an 11. Alright, well, as I said, it's going to be rolled at disadvantage. And you're oh, using oh, spell. Oh, it doesn't make it advantage. It makes it a straight roll, so. Okay, so it's a 9. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. So as that was the first dice number that comes up, that would be the die we would have to go with. But I even would done eleven because either way, you barely move this book. And I mean, everyone's watching you really trying to pull this book out. Does anybody want to give me a hand considering this book is actually useful? <laughs> Grom would help. <coughs> Do you even get that into the mouth of your bag? <laughs> Alright, Grom, you're going to go help her make a... Yeah. Make a strict check. I got a sixteen. Okay, you get this book. I mean, with Grom's help now, coming over and starts helping you try and pull this book out. Uh, you get it about halfway out. When you see the gold dragon, along with a oh. silver dragon. Oh. And How a dare you say a white dragon. <laughs> I wasn't done yet, so I'll get I know. a black dragon and a white dragon along with a red dragon show up. So basically they show up seeing me trying to pull this book out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How that hurt. And a couple of them are like just shaking their head like, oh, of all the people to try to read this <laughs> book. <laughs> they all know me. 
This is going to happen. I just, I, <laughs> oh, oh I, I it's obvious I know Titania <laughs> in some versions how she really is. And, yep. She takes a quick moment to acknowledge their presence and then goes back to try and pull the book out. <laughs> And the gold dragon, of course, the one that's like head of the council that you know of. Well, as we understand it, the Jamon of your world and a dwarf by the name of Jasper Copperkey was here. Getting a spell that... Yes, um... Uh, would be greatly beneficial, and yes, you will use it. I understand you're already wanting it, though. This isn't the time to have it. It will be delivered in due course by one of us that you see before you at the appropriate time. This can be the white one. Um, can you guys pull this book out for me? I'm having a bit of a hard time. The black dragon just face palms. <laughs> At that, it's like... Even though the silver dragon's almost finding this funny. Probably has the same humor as Helen. Helen's probably back to kind of wanting to laugh at Titania for what she's trying to do. It says, uh, actually, if you got the book out, how are you going to lay it down without crushing yourself? I have rope, and I can pull. But if one of you want to help me lay it out so I can actually read it, that would be much appreciated as well. The silver dragon kind of walks up closer, making sure he doesn't get close enough stepping. Even though it seems like they're smaller here, size don't mean a thing with the dragons at times. And he reaches down, picks up this book, and actually brings it up to him, looking at the title. Hmm. Not sure if you should be looking into this book, Titania. Not yet, anyway. Giving kind of like a little bit of a stern look to you. Is this one of those books that will drive you insane the minute you took you open the cover? No, it's it's a book it it's a it, book that's maps of the multiverse. Like, come on. He kind of shows the title to like the gold dragon. <sighs> Dang, two things now. Ah. Uh, And you see them start looking at each other. Against better judgment. And you see the gold dragon along with the silver both point to about in front of where probably Helen is standing at this moment. And you see a scroll case appear in front of her about the size of a uh let's just say a pull you know the pull cue uh holders that you can put your good uh pull cues in you know like I can't even show this on the screen oh that, oh, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's about, about that l length, but it is as thick of an arm as what Grom probably has. That big. With a strap ah. on it. And it's, it's sealed. And over next to it, there is a book. I go for the book. Uh, 
I look at the uh, scrolls. Uh, well, you're looking at the at least this case anyway. I mean, the scrolls are there's yeah, a, definitely a scroll inside. Are you gonna try to open it or? I mean, obviously, Titania, as you're going for this book, the silver dragon was state. I would wait in opening that book right now in this realm. We will show okay. you out. Just put it in your bag for now. Okay. So she just puts it right in her bag holding and just goes very attentive. <laughs> <laughs> then he, they turn to uh, Helen. That scroll is a copy of the main ritual spell to stop portal summonings in case needed. The case is sealed, but it will open when needed. So please protect it quite well. Of course. And then the uh, actually the white dragon is like, how did you come to be here? Is my next question. Uh, we snuck past the Cerberus. What he really means is that we were trying <laughs> to trail Jermon and Jasper, and it's kind of good that we found out that well, it's Amethyst's brother. I guess I should have been more with uh, Jermon. I'm sorry, sidetracked. You know that forest, um, what, what was it called? Dragon, the forest of some blank game. It was the forest where we got stuff for a potion. Well, I'm trying to give specific names so that they can know easier. Uh, but. Oh. it was basically the forest known to have, I mean, it, there wasn't actually, was actually a full name, I believe, put on it. Okay. And uh, it's like, uh, that forest mm -hmm. where uh, people have been known to enter the plane of labyrinths. And obviously, you found the door to come to this realm, which is the uh, Hall of Secrets of the Dragons. Yeah. Oh, <sighs> I'm just simply no wanting to stop sense. my best friend before he makes a stupid mistake and gets something terrible happen to him. So, sorry we're here. Well, things could have gone a lot worse, uh, but obviously we will return you to the point you entered would be the best point, and don't enter that again, as you got lucky that time, but if you enter that place again, as they say, it is a labyrinth, and... You could be there for centuries, and that's not good to have you there when we need you taking care of the demon situation. Wait, if this goes at the same, if this is a uh, dragon ish realm, does that mean that this goes at the same time speed as the dragon's realm? Our timeless realm is actually timeless. Uh, it's hard to tell what, how much time would have passed in your own world. We tried to try to keep this as brief as possible. Uh, we've been here already two days. The labyrinth area has its own time frame. All right, two-ish days. Mm. Hopefully not a whole lot has passed. And with that, with that, one of our dragons, uh, we will go ahead and just teleport you. And there's like a, this time, it's a black dragon. There's like this black mist surrounding you. Obviously, each one has their different ways of teleporting you. It's not a smooth ride. It's bumpy. 
and everyone just make a deck save to see if you are able to land on your feet when you hit the ground. How rude. Let's see. Five bucks says no. Yeah, everybody how rude. Has, everybody gets plus four. Oh, no, God. So that's a nine. Everybody gets plus four. Remember. Nine, eight. Thirteen. I added the plus four, so my dexterity is only a one. <laughs> Mine's actually a thirteen. <laughs> so, Amethyst uh, did only a plus three. I think that would have been a plus more, so she's definitely making the save. I don't. That's still an eyeball fly on our face. <sighs> Alright, so Okay. So when y'all just teleport, uh Yeah, Helen as uh you and Bastille, of course, you hit the ground, you almost have your butt faces planted in the dirt. Almost, but not quite. You were able to at least keep that from happening. Um, Titania, you kind of hit your knees. You don't go as far as they did. As well as uh, Grom. How'd Lavender do? Well, that's the thing. Lavender actually rolled a nat 20, so she comes out and literally just pounces on the ground just running around like Oh, this feels better. Whee. <laughs> and not only that, this is the most hilarious thing here. Amethyst lands on the ground with her feet just like, oh, I thought that was going to be a lot rougher than that. <laughs> <laughs> and you see Celiana and the other mounts right there like, what the hell? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? <laughs> you went poof and now you came back? What? <laughs> poof and poof again? Huh? Yeah. Honey? <laughs> I, I and, and, and the kicker is, <laughs> it's not just them. <laughs> is you also see Matlock there like... Next time, you want to go visit the dragons? At least give more notice. I have important things I must do for the goddess. How long have we been gone? Closes his eyes, I believe, three days. Okay, well, uh, first on a note, we had absolutely no idea where we were going. So sorry about that. Um, second, at least it was only three days. Um, yeah, it felt like a, it was probably going to end up being a lot longer than that. Thank you, Matlock. Yes, well, you see him take his paw claw and point over to the ground where there's like something laying on the ground right there. Something was brought by an undead bird. Over there. <laughs> I, uh, I go to inspect it. Give me a moment. I'm having to actually pull up that note. Oh. Oh, no. <coughs> so... There's actually no two from, but it's a. Uh, it's not parchment. It could be a type of leather that this is probably made of. It's it's human skin. Let's just <coughs> this. <coughs> <coughs> it's a dead bird, and it's some leathery substance. It's it's skin, but okay. We we already know what it is. <laughs> Who is it addressed to? Is my question. Well, there is no two from. That's what. No, what there's no saying. two on there. So, who's. I mean, 
Would you like me to at least read it for everyone and try to mimic Atreus <laughs> voice no, again? No, we need to get Atreus in here and have her read it for us. Listen, <laughs> <coughs> read it for us. It'll be epic. Do it, do it. <laughs> I, I don't know if Sin's prepared to do that. Let me just handle this. <laughs> no. So, uh, is Satanya one going to open it up and read it aloud? <laughs> yes. Alright, so Titania, you open it up and it goes, To my darlings, running amok being heroes. Firstly, I hope you rather enjoyed my little friends and what they can do. Perhaps next time, before you go leaping into the abyss, you would be wiser and ask which of my little friends I am sending you. I digress to more pressing matters. I trust you have that information I have been seeking. If not, the clock is ticking and I do not like to be kept waiting. There are only so many demons I can kill before I get bored and seek more challenging souls. Speaking of souls, upon your departure from my humble abode, one of you little wretches managed to procure some very ancient texts of mine in the form of a few scrolls. While I continue to allow you to walk this world with your bodies in one piece, I have a your message for you. Swiper no swiping. You have taken something you do not have the right to, and now the price of this shiny ball has grown up. Gone up. Bring me the intel and no scrolls, or I will see to it that this thing of yours never sees the light of day ever again. Besides, you do want to kill Bowsrav, don't you? Ta ta, XO, 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 Atreya Black. I have no <coughs> idea what they're talking about. <coughs> I'm sure the rest of Helen's doing her famous nose French and then sends a sending message to Savanka saying. Why did you take those scrolls from Atreya? Okay. Just right off the bat, that's what you're going to send her. Okay. Yeah. I'm wondering why she did it. Well, she did tell you, but obviously you've forgotten, but that's fine. Okay, well, if you remind me now, I uh, she had saying. she had told you she took the scrolls because a trade did not give enough information. But luckily, she found these scrolls to help with the search for the info that she wanted. All right, then Helen's going to state, "Love, you kind of made a tray of black pissed off at us for taking their scrolls." And I'm already worried about you. Is that going to be it? Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be it. But again, Helen in real life, they just see her eyes closed and her pinching her the bridge of her nose like. <sighs> you will get a response. Helen, dear. I'm fine, and we needed those scrolls for the info we needed to find the souls that Atreya once reaped. As such, if she wants them back, I'm fine about that. I don't care about keeping them, I mean. But we needed the info. Well, she does that, I open my book. Mm -hmm. 
That was a response to you. Yep. Helen would reply back, you weren't fine in my dreams. I don't like how far away we are right now. I was like, I can't protect you. But can you please return the scrolls to Atreya? After a moment, I'll get them sent back then. I mean, I've already got the info. It won't hurt to send it back. I couldn't read them when we were there. That's the thing. But sure, I'll get them sent back. But just take care of yourself. Anything else on this end? Um. No. Helen would just have a small frown on her face, then uh, just start to walk out of the forest. With or without the group, she'll just start walking out. Because she was told not to go back there. She's not going back there. <laughs> So you're grabbing hold of Star and just start leading the horse away from this yeah. nightmare. Okay. And she still has the case with the scroll and then she's holding that up to her chest. I figured it was like a size of a book or something. Uh, or it's in, in my bag of holding. You I'm could fit it that. into the bag of holding actually. Yes, you can. All right, so it's in the bag of holding then. All right. So, with that, what's everyone else going to do? I looked in my book. Oh, yeah, that's right. You were starting, you were, bring that book out and just start looking right in it. Make me a wisdom save. Okay. Uh, plus three. Uh, do I still have an advantage token? Uh, let me look here and see. I think I saw two, but I don't remember. So I don't use them, like, ever. <laughs> the only time I can remember using them was using in a head buddy conscious. You have two true <laughs> advantages and one plus two. All right, can I use uh, an advantage on this, one of the advantage tokens on this? Sure. <clears throat> Roll two threes. Doesn't make a difference. I got a six. Romeo D100. Okay. Fifty six. Okay. All right. All right. At least for you, nothing's happening this time. Uh 
hey, I rolled yeah. bad on what I had to roll, so. No, you rolled good. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, Helen did use her uh, special magic. When that, when I needed to do a con save a while ago. Oh, that is correct. You did need to make con saves. Thank you for reminding me. I, mean, um, I just never remembered. I'm sorry. Yeah, you need to actually roll two of them, if I'm correct. I don't know anymore. Uh, yeah, it'd be two. Uh, the bonuses from Paladins do not count on this. No offense, but it will not. I mean, it's... I have a con of plus five. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, here's the first save. Okay. Here's the second save. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Good. Uh, I did good. Yeah, you did fine. So. All right. So, uh, to time when you open up this book. You kind of close it right afterwards, realizing you're not prepared for this quite yet. And it's like, this is definitely like something that would, you have to take this extremely slow. And you're not sure if you're ready to do this just yet. You almost feel like you need to get help to be able to understand this. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna bug her having a book she can't read. <laughs> I mean, it's not the it's not the first book she has that she can't read. Don't because <coughs> she has the cleric's book and the wizard book, but those are uh, e easy compared to this. So, oh, and, and she's come up with uses before for the other ones. So this is the one that she's like, I'm not. This is I'm gonna figure out how to get this one. Yeah. The only thing that comes to mind right now is the Elder Scroll. Read that goes blind. Ah! <laughs> All right, so you find some Dwemer. Yeah. yeah. So with that, <laughs> I take it now everyone's going to start trying to follow behind Helen or what? Yep. Okay. It's about as you're walking out of these woods back to a road. It was like morning when you got here, so that was a good thing. Uh, of course, Matt Law's like, safe travels, and he goes off on his own. Obviously, still trying to do something that he was supposed to do and not have to babysit mounts. So, we'll say you get back to the road. What's your next plan of action? I put the book back in put the book back in my uh in my bag of holding underneath at the very bottom of the book stack in there. <laughs> well no, it's probably to hide it so somebody doesn't like ooh what's this and they look at my bag of holding. Like it's it's I'm obscuring it a bit. Uh, okay. So, uh, as I say, you're back to the road trail. What's your plan of action as, uh, well, you don't know where Jamon and Jasper went. Helen's going to head back to the town or city. All right, so you're going to be heading back to Kara. Yeah, well, that's what Helen's doing. I don't know if everyone else wants to follow me or not. Well, nothing else better to do. Okay, so we'll everyone is... Uh, yeah. Figure out our next plan. Okay. Okay, all right. Well, I mean, it's going to take... Uh, basically, at this point, you will have to rest for one night, though. 
Well, we'll we'll make this a little bit of a fast track, and that your rest was easy and such, and you're heading back to Kara. And uh, yeah, and as such, when you're coming back up, you see actually the field marshal on like one of the patrols. When you get closer to Z, we're fast tracking this extra day. And you see the field marshal on patrol with a few of the troops. Does anyone want to say anything to her? Do what are we? I'm sorry. Who are we meeting up with now? All right, I'm fast tracking you. You all had to do one rest on the way back, but nothing right. was going to happen. You have made it back. Basically, you're mm -hmm. almost right at Kara, and you see the film marshal on like a patrol with some of her troops. Oh, oh, well, I go up to her. One at a time, please. <laughs> So who? Go ahead, Bastille. So as I was saying, I said, um, "Well, looks like Jermon has a new friend. Of course, it was a past acquaintance. I just forgot about him. Uh, Jasper Copperkey, Amethyst's brother, and uh, we sadly lost him because we found a library that." We're not supposed to go to because it's protected by dragons. Isn't that great? And it all because we went to a forest. She does like of all the adventures I've ever heard, but yet Okay. <laughs> That's uh, fine, but uh, I think your friend took one other thing other than that book and orb thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a ring missing as well. I pull out the ring. My bad. I meant to ask about that. Look at the town you with disapproving eyes. <laughs> I honest to God meant to ask... If I can have it. And I straight up forgot. Sure you did. <laughs> okay. You trying to do an insight. I'm not lying. <laughs> you are actually telling the truth that you were going to ask about it. You just forgot. Yeah. I, I was telling you about that yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I straight up forgot. <laughs> I... I'm sorry, I missed it. Is this the... The field marshal person. Field marshal. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Grom would step forward and say, despite the actions of Titania here, possibly mixing that up, she is telling the truth. She is a fair bit too in innocent. Somewhat. Somewhat. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess, yeah, because I still did steal, but... <sighs> she looks at one of the soldiers, and he comes up and is holding his hand out. Please hand it back as it needs to be identified and figure out what it could be. Uh, okay. It, I understand it back. All right, he takes it. Well, let's just say at times, uh, how about not taking what isn't yours without at least talking first before taking? And you kind of see this look on her face like, uh, don't do it again. <laughs> Duly noted, I will not take from a military establishment that has a catalog of everything that 
they Fair. currently have in their possession. <laughs> Pulls out no pulls out notepad, but do indeed remember to ask. Alright. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I I almost see this happening that Titania actually does have at least like a, something to write with and a pad that she's trying to make notes like try to remember of how to act at times. Now <laughs> Here, here's the thing. Ask before like this, hugging. This, honest to God, has happened to me before. I was at work one time, a different job, different state, and I got this box cutter, and it was a really nice heavy duty one. They were just throwing them away, so I meant to, I put it in one of my pockets set aside, and I was gonna ask them, like, hey, since we're done with the job, can I have this one? And I straight up didn't remember till we were on the way home, and there's I was never gonna work for them again, so because it was a day, day job. So I was like, whoops. I still have it, actually. Somewhere around <laughs> So it's, like, it's, just like, it's, it's, it's happened before. That's what I can say. It's an honest to God mistake. I meant to ask. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's quite an interesting old tale. With that. Now the whole world. <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's only 20000 and nobody... Nobody knows who or where it happened, so. Either way, uh, do you wish to ask any questions of the film marshal or anything? Uh, if you guys check that out and decide you guys don't need it, can I have it? We'll Talk see. The ring. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Helen, for your insight, as you are passively great at insight, you kind of know it's not going to happen. <laughs> well, you don't need to say it over everybody. For everybody well, else. well, to me, I've got He's to... more saying it. I mean, this is OOC, and the person that would have the insight to see this would know... Due to she actually has a 15 in insight. I mean, of all the people, yeah. Yep. I mean, I, I know Amethyst. No, can in? Mm, nope. Don't have it quite high enough for Amethyst. Hmm. No, I'm not sure. I don't know why I'm professional anymore. I'm sleepy. Yeah. And with that, anything else? Mm, I don't Honest to God, no. I just want to get in and go to bed. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, go to bed, I mean go to bed in real life. Okay, so with that, obviously... We, uh, we need to get a lodging tavern. Eh, that's not actually that hard to get. <coughs> so... Basically, y'all move on back into, and you go right straight to the inn that, dang, uh, if, you, if you first stayed at, that you know quite well. And as you walk in, uh, you see the barkeep, oh, you're finally back. Oh, you have a new friend or something there? Looking towards uh, Amethyst, uh, but still, you you're known. It's basically Amethyst, the only one not known here. I'll try to <coughs> you you're going. Oh yeah, I'm the barkeep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making fun of you. I just remember that voice. That's all. No, it's, it sounds like a very enthusiastic barkeep. Mm, he's a you're more enthusiastic. His uh, wife on the other hand. <laughs> I think that was the one I had to repair a bed to. Huh. Yep. 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 <laughs> and so I, uh, 
introduced Amethyst. I'm like, this is Amethyst Copper Key. Amethyst, talk about how, how famous you are in the Empire. <laughs> Your family. Uh... <laughs> There's not going to be a need, luckily. Because he recognizes the Copper Key name as huh. they're the system that, you know, their vault system's one used by most everyone to transfer money and such from one place or another to that system. And it's like, oh, oh, a copper key. Uh, it's an honor. I hope our combination's going to be good enough for uh, you. Uh, I take it she's part of your group. Uh, rooms are still available that you were staying at in before. Uh, what happened to that? Uh, maybe, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. Uh, what? I don't worry about it. I was about to do something I didn't want to do, so just <laughs> retcon that. <laughs> just rub that out with a finger. I know what you were going with that, and I knew what the <coughs> answer to <coughs> Because of how tired I am. <laughs> I had a perfect answer. It's a cold answer, but it's a perfect answer. Okay. Never mind. Uh, let's just move on. So, <laughs> as he says, uh, same combinations. Uh, maybe an extra room. I mean, we definitely got one next to him if you need it. Yes, please. Sure, sure. He hands you the keys back. Almost in the way that they were uh, before. All right. Uh, sure, the mounts will be taken care of. Uh, you probably all dropped your mounts off at the stables anyway. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Lavner. Yep. Yeah, Lavner. Was looked at, but it's like, oh, okay. Well, um, yeah, we can pin it. Uh, just, uh, she basically probably had to Tanya have a talk with her about not going anywhere inside the city underground, or there could be a lot of trouble. <coughs> As they very thoroughly explained to. Um, what's her face? Lavender. That, yeah, we're looking at, you know, it's just for the night anyway. So, I'll be back in the morning. Okay. Okay. So, with this, y'all basically have accommodations and, uh, We'll pick up here, uh, maybe next week on this group for Monday night. And, uh, who knows? Maybe, uh, at the start of it, maybe we'll be seeing a couple people get drunk. As, uh, a promise has to be kept. And this is a place mm -hmm. to do it. <laughs> so, with that... I hope everyone had a good time here tonight. Uh, if you do have suggestions, you can put them into the Discord about what could be on the merch store, on shirts and mugs. Uh, and definitely got a few different ideas. Uh, with that, though, take care, everyone, and keep on gaming. Good night. Have a good day. Take care, night, everybody. I am done with my shit internet. Um...